Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're just playing NES games. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Uh, we'll be starting with Metal Storm. Uh, yeah. So, hype, hype, hype. Hi, GB. Welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? So yeah, so like I had a list of certain games that, because I've done these streams before, but there's certain NES games I haven't um, gotten to. Metal Storm is a game I've been playing offline, and it's a really good game, and I want to get gooder. So we're going to play through this. Yeah, how was your uh, Jackbox stream? Sorry, I missed it. So yeah, you could change gravity. Oliver, I enjoy playing with Oliver. Yeah. Well, your streams are always entertaining. Oliver is always entertaining. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Uh, I guess. Okay. I think it's one shot and you're dead. So I'm trying not to get hit. I'm being, um, careful. How do I get that stuff? Hey, Doggo Gamer! Thank you for following! He's watching too? Awesome! Well, hey Oliver! Thank you for the follow! I want to get those power-ups. How do I get that? Oh, okay. Yeah, one shot and you're gone. It has really good explosion um, visuals, this game. More so than other games. Hey, hey, hi, doggo. Let me give you a shout out. There you go. Null. Null is my favorite game. I'm still, still waiting for somebody to make a game called Null, by the way. Or, I don't know, maybe there is one. I think there is one. Eventually says channel up. That's awesome. I'm trying to imagine what his logo would be. Would it be like an actual doggo? Would, would, would it be um, Doritos? How about a dog eating Doritos? That would be pretty cool. Hmm. I'm try it no! Game over. There's gonna be a doggo? Alright, that sounds good. Yes, the explosion sound is very NES. So yeah, if you have a request for an NES game, let me know, because I'm playing on the EverDrive, so I have every NES and Famicom game. I also have, like, translations, betas, prototypes. Hey! Thank you, 8 Jace, for the sub! Um, that's a two-month streak. I appreciate it. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Ugh.
I swear, this game is like Contra. I don't know if I like that in games. The one hit deaths? I, I like a I like a health bar. I don't know if I like one hit deaths. How's that? No. Whoa. Okay. Hope it doesn't respawn. Okay. That that thing took a lot of. Oh. 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 Okay. We got a new weapon now. Whoa. This thing's way more powerful than the last one. Hey, Tony Uncle. Just in time. I think we're gonna have a boss fight right now. Oh, geez. It is a boss fight. Yay! Thank you for the host. Like some college kid, probably, probably probably 19 years, but they couldn't add a health bar. Yeah, well, a lot of games did that just to try to. A lot of games did that just to up the difficulty. Oh God, is that road road rash? I see what's happening here. Oh. <laughs> that was a boss fight. Past tense. Okay. Hey, Captain Chess, thank you for the host. Oh. It was that simple. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, some games are uh, definitely game genie. Oh, okay. So that power up lets you take a hit, which is nice. All right, and then I can switch sides, and that that takes that out. Okay, that, that those power ups help a lot. Yeah, the color palette is really nice. I keep forgetting I can shoot up. Okay, that, that helps a lot. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, here we go again. This is trippy. Okay. okay. Thank you for the GGs. Yeah, the flipping back and forth. Oh, I think this level just repeats vertically. I don't know if I'm... Yeah, the music is great. Uh... Uh, I can't go. Okay, I can't go past that. 
uh, now we're entering a maze. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, what's that? This game's not easy, but... Yeah, the music is... They recently, I, uh, I think it's Limited Run, or some other company, they did a re-release of this on a, on a cart. Yeah, doggo, music is really good. This is one of those underrated games. Not many people knew about this game when it came out. It got popular afterwards, like, just by YouTubers mentioning it. No, jump! Okay, I got it. Uh... What is a man? <laughs> yeah, there's Dracula. Hi, Captain Chaz. This is Metal Storm. Have you played it? Thank you, MB the Great, for contributing 4,000 channel points. Make me play Wario. Shake it. This is a game that I think a uh, doggo gamer would like. Wario's really fun. Very colorful. The graphics are um, hand drawn. Oh, that was close. We did it, folks. Next area. Oh, there's a one-up. Um, that's gonna be difficult because if I switch gravity, I'm going to die. So I'm I'm not gonna grab that one-up. I'm, I'm not gonna fall for it. That was close. Thank you, Captain Chaz, for the six thousand channel points. I appreciate it. <laughs> A, a man is a twisted little pile of secrets. So, yeah, a miserable, a miserable pile of secrets. That's what a man is. Oh, I didn't think that would kill me. I didn't. Okay. All right. I learned something. Okay. Um. So that means I have to do this. Oh. See, this is like a puzzle. Um, I don't know if I, if I fall down, I don't know what I'm falling down on. It's gonna be a blind... Oh, okay, there's an enemy there. Okay, I killed him. Uh, okay. Not rid of him. Uh, okay. I don't want to go blindly up. Oh! Okay. Hmm. No, I can't go to the right. <laughs> I like that, uh, that mouse emote, doggo. I'm gonna blindly jump over here. Maybe we go down? I'm lost. We might have to go back. I just realized there's a timer. They're timing me. That's me.
<laughs> Baby emotes. Oh, okay. Luckily, I, I I had a thing to take that hit, which is good. But to be honest, I don't know how to progress. Oh, okay. I go through there. Okay. All right, we're making progress now. Oh, look at the time! Uh-oh. 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 Oh! oh. <laughs> I like that octopus. I like it. Or is that a squid? That's a giant squid. Okay, we took too long in that level, apparently. I didn't see that one coming. Yeah. Because you, you go do these blind jumps. I can't shoot th through the wall with this gun. I should go up or down. All right. Go this way. Go this way. That was close. That door almost killed me. Um. All right. We got P. Did it? Oh, boss fight, people! Uh-oh. Well, that was quite simple. Right, stage three. Oh, scrolling background. This is confusing because the, the, the things are moving on a track, like those cars. Oh, I just downgraded. I had a better weapon. Maybe this will upgrade me. Oh, I have a shield now. Oh, but it jumped. Oh, luckily that, that saved me. Hi, Peter Steves. Oh, thank you for sharing your lunch break with me. No! Have you played Metal Storm before?
done as a level sus. Uh, I've been working eight hours, three days this week, and four next week, including today. One day, if we dream, we can make you a level. Uh, yeah. You mean a level in Mario Maker? Oh, one day if we stream, make you a level. Okay, cool, yeah. We call the level one of John? That'd be cool. So how am I gonna get through here? Oh. Oh, oh. Can I shoot that through the wall? No. Well, I, uh, luckily, I, I was able to take a hit there. Oh, I was looking the other way. Okay, I can't go through there. What is that? Um, how do I get through that? Oh, so if you're on the ceiling, that thing comes on. Oh! Uh, I have a McDouble for lunch, fries. That sounds good. I would like a McDouble right now. McDouble hype. Oh, that was close. Luckily, I had the invulnerability there because the spikes would have killed me. Uh, okay. Hi, hey, evil guy. Welcome to the stream. Always a McDonald's commercial when you think of it. Um, I can order order. Well, I love McDonald's breakfast, so that's not a bad thing, evil guy. That is awesome. I remember they were going to do a um, breakfast only McDonald's. I don't think they ever did that. Now they just do all day breakfast. It's always a McDonald's commercial when you think it's not. I guess so. Sometimes commercials can be uh, tricky. Breakfast is really good, but sometimes I want lunch. They have a breakfast item that I think is like chicken and biscuits or something. That could be like a, a lunch. It's just like a chicken patty uh, on a biscuit. And then yeah, if you want fries, you can settle for a hash brown. Want. Hey, thank you for contributing 4,000 channel points oh. stitched. Uh, we're, we are like halfway. We are halfway to the goal. I appreciate that. I don't want to waste an hour or work for food. Thank you, evil guy, for contributing 2,000 channel points. Make me play. Wario Shake It. Uh, Wario Land Shake It. I'm gonna, I want to give this another shot. Um, 
Alright, lurk away. If you have a request, let me know. Uh, anybody watching, if you have a request for an NES or Super, um, an NES or Famicom game, uh, let me know. I have pretty much everything, because I have this EverDrive. So we have translations, betas, ports, ROM hacks. I'm sure for a streaming purpose, it's always baffling, but it's so hard to get other menu items before 10 a.m. Uh, or after. Um, yes! Do you know that there was a, a, a McDonald's game that was only released on the Famicom? Uh, I don't know if I've played that one. But there is a McDonald's game that was only released on the Famicom. And then on the, the NES here in the U.S., we got the McKids. There's, so there's technically two NES McDonald's games. Uh, what's better, McDonald's or lunch? Why not both? Uh, I think I'm going to imply I'm reading too many Elder Scrolls in one shot. Okay. That part was tricky. Depends what toy you get from the McKids meal. Um, McDonald's is taking over the world. I agree, uh, Doggo. It's Disney, Google, uh, Apple, Amazon, and McDonald's, um, and Walmart. Uh, those are the ones taking over the world. Uh, have you seen uh, Japan's McDonald's is even has an anime ad? I did see that ad. I liked it. Um, they should start airing that here. Uh, strolling to McDonald's. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Uh, where's William when you need him? Oh, what do I do here? Uh, I guess I have to. Uh, oh, okay. Does I get nervous and I switch in the wrong direction? Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, red alert. Well, that that was quick. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a save state. Um, because I can do that with the EverDrive. I'm gonna do a save state, and we could change to the McDonald's game. Let's see. Um, Japan. Uh, M. Uh, was it McDonald's Land? Or, I think it was Donald Land. Because, you know, Ronald McDonald in Japan is called Donald? Here he's called Ronald. There he's called Donald. Yeah, isn't that bizarre? Uh, yeah, I just realized that. Uh, yeah, Donald Land. Okay, here we go. It was made by Data East. Um, I think, okay. I was like, is this a different game? No, this is it. <laughs> Look, there's a uh, Mayor McCheese. Oh, the momentum is weird. You like jump and he like keeps moving forward. What the heck is that thing? He's freaking out. Let's give him an apple. Oh, okay. He, he got a exploding apples. That's pretty cool. I think Doggo Gamer would like this game. Uh oh, I don't know. That thing's kind of freaking me out. And it's kind of creepy. Uh, let's try to explode him. What? 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 Well, how do I... Oh, you, have, you literally have to jump it on his... 
Drop it on his head. <laughs> you have to check this game out, it's weird. The momentum is weird though, because when you jump, he just moves forward way too much. So the momentum is really weird. Oh, come on. There we go. Yep, McDonald's taking over the world. People are gonna come into the stream and say, what are you playing? We're playing Ronald Land. There we go. Get all the burgers. I miss 80s, 90s restaurants and food mascots. I agree. Um, I miss mascots in general. Um, we, we don't have that. And I miss like theme songs to sitcoms and I don't know. Everything had more charm back then. Um, I knew that McDonald's was taking over the world. Yes, yes, yes. Remember that like everything had a theme song, everything had a mascot. Now everything is just like generic and kind of boring. Look at that bird, he's wearing glasses and a hat. There we go. Boss fight is a woodpecker. I don't think I've ever... Can anyone think of a woodpecker boss fight in any other game? I, I can't think of one. This is tricky because you... Oh, there we go. All right, GG's. I went up for... Just a drink in the person because I wasn't billed and got a drink. Well, that's good, I guess. Oh, okay, what should we buy? Should we buy, um... A Big Mac, a double Big Mac, chicken nuggets, um, fries, or a soda? We'll buy, we'll buy some nuggies. We bought the nuggies. And, um... Oh, uh, we don't have enough money. We only had enough for month for, for for nuggies. Only enough for nuggies. Never the double Big Mac. Okay, that's it. Try to play. Um, oh, it's a matching game. Oh, we got the Hamburglar. We have to get Ronald. Uh, what would you like? Um, it's a free health. I don't know. We bought that. Lakeside World. Oh! What was that? <laughs> that deaf music. We should try to recreate this in um, Super Mario Maker. How about that? <laughs> Look how derpy that, that, that thing looks. I love it. I want that to be an emote. I love it. Okay, he's dead. Sweet potato fries. That sounds really good. I don't know how I'm gonna make that jump. That's a that's a difficult jump. So it's a Famicom from Japan. Is there an English patch? Um, the game's not in Japanese. So a lot of ja a lot of Famicom games were in English. So this is one of those. There's no Japanese in this game, even though it was only released in Japan. But no, there, there's no English patch on this. This is the Famicom version.
Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Famicom games were just in English, and it's like, oh, it could have been released here, but it wasn't. Yeah, the most difficult ones are RPGs. Those are like fully in Japan. Sometimes the menus are in English. <laughs> There's the Zelda fanfare. Uh, sometimes the menus are in English, but then all the dialogue uh, are, are, are in Japanese. Sometimes everything is in Japanese. It's it's uh, it's from game to game. You really uh. I think there's like websites and stuff uh, that describe what's playable and what's not. Did you know steak fries are a thing? Yes, I do know that. Uh, McDonald's versus Jack's, who will win? I don't know. Uh, I haven't been to Jack's. I don't think we have that. I'm in New York. I don't think we have Jack's. Uh, I made shells and plant-based meat sauce. Um, delicious. I would like to try that. Oh, I knew I could stand on this tree. That, that's helpful. Oh, come on. Your timing has to be perfect on this stuff. I don't have time for that. Uh-oh. But hey, wasn't that the boss? He's gone. why they named them steak fries. Um, steak fries are kind of like just thicker cut fries. Um, I don't know why they're called steak fries either. They just are. How was I supposed to make that jump? I think I, I think something I had to do something to make a platform appear maybe. You guys think we should try Mick Kids? That's the, the, the US McDonald's game. It's a pretty good game. <laughs> Mick kids. I, I didn't expect a McDonald's themed uh, stream. You never know what's gonna happen. What does what mean? You don't know what a Mick Kid is? How am I supposed- okay, how am I supposed to make this jump? Um... I think I have to... How am I supposed to make that jump? I don't know how to make that jump. We're gonna do a save state and we're, we're gonna move on. I, I don't know how to make that jump. Uh, all right, so let's go to, um, the way fries are made is called chips. Uh, yeah, in the US, in the UK it's called chips. I haven't had McDonald's in over a year since going plant-based. Oh, well, I have McDonald's all the time. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, oh, MC Kids. Here we go. I've had the Impossible Whopper once. I liked it. Uh, I would, I would have it again. Look, there's a little froggy. Ronald was showing off his magic bag at a picnic in the meadow, and then all of a sudden... Help, help! The Hamburglar has run off with my magic bag! Please help us get it back! 
search the levels of my clubhouse and reveal, uh, retrieve at least four of my puzzle cards. If you come back to my house with four cards, I will show you how to get to Birdie's house. I want to try it, but Burger King by me never have any. Okay. It's actually really difficult to find a Burger King here in New York. Like, there used to be a lot of them, and they just all closed down. So there's not that many here for some reason. Um, but McDonald's and Wendy's are more prevalent. Um, Taco Bell also. Hey, Stuttering Stick. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, so we started with Metal Storm, then we played, uh... Donald Land, which is the Famicom McDonald's game, and now we're playing McKids. So welcome to the stream. There's Burger King in Brooklyn, Queens. Yeah, for some reason, the other boroughs have more Burger King than Manhattan. There's not many here. Does anyone know where I can buy out a company? Um, no, I don't. Okay, what do we? What do we? Oh wait, I picked this up. And. Uh, There we go. Nice. Nice. I'm trying to jump up higher. But nope. Nope, can't jump higher. I like how the coins are M's. Yes, the coins are M's. I've never seen this. Do you enjoy the heckinesses of the city? Uh, to an extent. Look at that cute little snail up there. Hey, Mr. Snail Dude. Uh, I, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of big crowds, though, but I know which areas to avoid and when, which areas not, like, Times Square is pretty bad. Well, during the pandemic, Times Square was empty. That was really weird. Never seen it like that. Um, but, uh, everything's kind of gone somewhat back to normal. And so... The more touristy areas, what is this thing? The more touristy areas are very crowded and hectic. There's a lot of traffic in the city, so that gets hectic. Especially when you're a pedestrian, you're just trying to cross the street and there's like cars everywhere. What the heck is that? It's a walking flower. Uh, I feel like there's secrets down here. No? Well, there's some M's up here, but how do we get that? Oh, we need that. Wait, wait, wait. Excuse me, Mr. Snail Dude. I'm gonna pick this up. And... Oops. I don't know where I was supposed to put that. But we're gonna leave. This is McKids. The McDonald's game. Stuttering. Uh, I'm in Queens. It's a flower from the Secret Garden. Um, so it's... Uh, I'm lunch McDonald's, my local Walmart. I voted John to play McDonald's. <laughs> yes! If you remember that show. Uh. What show? Does magic even exist? Um. Only if you believe it. If you believe it, it does exist. Oh, I wish that would go back up. I missed the block. Is there a wait? Maybe I can. Maybe it will reset if I go over here. Actually, this sprite kind of looks like Oliver. Doesn't this kind of look like Oliver? Oh, okay, I got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, that was the end. Okay. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does look like Oliver. Um, it was at the same time as Romper Room. Okay. I never, yeah, I never got into Romper Room. I heard of it. Never. What the heck is that? Is that a gopher? Oh, I missed it. What is that? Spider? Okay, we got rid of the spider. Um... Oh, wait, what was that? Uh, I'm showing my true age. 
Uh, well, we're the same age, but I, uh, Romper Room I thought was mostly the 70s, so I didn't, I didn't watch that. Uh, what's your favorite color? Yep, my favorite color is green. That's why, like, my whole setup is green. All my emotes are green. Let, let, let me, let me show my emote. Green, 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 green. Everything's green. The only thing that's not green is my Psyduck. And my Kit Dracula. Those are not green. Peter Steves, yeah, I think you you remember Romper Room, right? Is that your era? Oh, we just hit that uh, thing on the head. I'm trying to pick that. Oh. Oh, I wanted to go underwater, but it's not letting me. Oh. Is it wrong that this game is really good? This game is pretty darn good. We missed a card in the previous level. Yeah, and be yeah, we're we're all like the similar age, but um that was on but like I, I i heard of it but it was kind of like that that came out like for people that are 40 it came out like as soon as we were born but we may have like missed out on it or it, i think it went off the air like right uh is this a boat what what is this Look at that fish! That's an uh, interesting design for a fish. Yes, he does look deadly. I didn't want to mess with him. I don't want to make him angry. No! So I think the further you... Oh, okay. I got... At the end. Yes. We're, we're in the 40 club, 8-Bit Jace. Uh, you, me, and MB the Great, we're in the 40 club. Uh, I found Ronald McDonald. Okay. We're going to... We're, we're, we're progressing further than I anticipated. Alf, Murder, She Wrote, Star Trek, Married with Children, MASH. Yes! <laughs> never share your age online. No, never share your birthday or your social security number or your blood type or your um, credit score or one of those things. What is that? I, I can't identify what that is. It's a Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this game is pretty good. Uh, did you see that weird looking beaver? Yeah. W where did that beaver go? There it goes. I don't think that was a beaver. He didn't have a flat tail. I think it was a gopher. But who knows? We got these leaf platforms. Okay. I don't know what that was, but we got rid of it. Uh, uh, oh, I want that M. Wait, how do we get up there? Oh. I don't know how to get up there. Okay, yeah, got rid of him. Um, not gonna lie, you don't look 40, John. Yep, I, I, uh, that's why they call me the vampire. I don't age. I don't know why, but I, I am quite youthful. Favorite player, anyways. I was always upset my parents never got me Chippendales Rescue Rangers. I love the cartoon. Uh, we could play that next if you want. That is a good game. I played it. I have the the Disney Afternoon Collection on the Xbox One. I got that on sale for like five bucks, and so that's the version I play. I think I beat it on there, but I haven't done it during my uh, NES streams. And I played the second one. Yeah, it, Rescue Rangers. Um. 
Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers is similar because you pick up objects and you throw them. Which is also like Super Mario Brothers 2. As most NES games were arcade hard. Yep. Yep. They did that to make them, um... They had to make the games longer or last longer because there was just limited memory. So to, to kind of lengthen the game, they made it challenging. Also for rentals, they made it more challenging. Oh, I forgot to jump on the M there. Um... <laughs> yes, I'm 240. You smack that broom. What? Okay, we're gonna go to four. I'm love- I'm, I'm liking the music in this game. Maybe we can... That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Okay, jeez. I'm trying to figure out a way to, like, drop the, um, the block. But, no. Okay, I'm just gonna... All right, bye, Peter. They're invisible because everything's blue like you. Okay, look at this cute little snail. Bye, snail. Whoa! What was that? Uh, yes, that is a great soundtrack. All Mega Man games have amazing music. Blind jump. Okay. Oh, okay. Actually, you could really recreate this level design in um, Mario Maker. You really could. If you want NES, I carry a NES multi-cart in Game Boy Micro and play it during... Yeah, that, that, that's an awesome thing to do. Um, I think my plan for lunch next time is just a sandwich in the break room. Okay. You like fries with that? I would like fries with that. I want fries with everything. Whoa. Okay, we killed that gopher beaver thing. What is that number one up there? I don't know what to do with that. We jump on, jump on it? Maybe we hit it with a block. Oh! Yes, my favorite thing are McDonald's fries too. I love McDonald's fries. Arby's. I've never been to Arby's. You know, we don't, I don't think we have one here in New York. I know we have it in New Jersey, but um, I have not been to an Arby's. I haven't heard great things. Like, I heard their food is, like, super salty. Uh, I think it's in Ozone Park. Arby's? Okay. Arby's is... it's okay. My dad has been... he likes it, but meatless. Okay. Got him. What kind of bird is that? Whoa! I have to say, this game does look like a fan-made... Doesn't this game kind of look like a fan-made, like, indie game? Like, somebody made in, like, Flash? Like, maybe, like... 10, 20 years ago. Even though this game is older than that and is was actually on the NES. Uh, I live in the West Coast. Do you guys have In and Out Burger? Uh, no, we do not have In and Out Burger. I believe that's just a West Coast thing. What a burger! I, I've seen it in New Jersey, but I haven't seen it in New York. Um. 
Um, Case, where is that In and Out? There is not an In and Out burger on the East Coast. It does sort of look like, yeah, like kind of like a final exam for like Gaming 101. It kind of. And that's not a knock on this game, but it, it does kind of have that feel. You want to try In and Out so bad? Yeah, I've heard very good things. I've heard from some people though that they've had it and they didn't see what the big deal was. Yeah, no, Jace, I really do not think there's an In N Out burger anywhere on the East Coast. There's five guys everywhere, yeah. But no, I, I, In N Out burger is completely a West Coast thing. Pretty confident about that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty confident. Oh, I missed. Oh. Wow, we're just getting a lot of M's here. M's all over the place. Oh, I love White Castle. I, but it's, it's again, it's a, it depends on who, on the person, because a lot of people who hate White Castle and think it's gross. Um, but I, I really love White Castle. But I think White Castle is an East Coast thing. I don't think it's anywhere else. Like Dunkin' Donuts. I love Dunkin' Donuts, but that's just an East Coast thing. I think on the West Coast, it's mostly um, Krispy Kreme. And the only Krispy Kreme here in, in New York is in Penn Station, I'm aware of. I think they tried to open up a few um, locations and it just never took off. I remember, what am I, what am I doing? Oops. Oh, you can switch characters. Okay, I didn't know that. What's this zipper? Oh. Okay. I don't know what that was about. Um, We have crystals, but no White Castle. I don't, haven't heard of Crystal. Um, We got Duncan over here and Krispy Kreme. Okay. Uh, Jersey City. <laughs> Jace, White Castle's good. I, I'm sorry it doesn't agree with your stomach, but I like it. What food would you have if you had your own restaurant? Let me guess. One-up casserole. I, I, I don't know what a one-up casserole would taste like, but I'm sure it'll be great. I bought from there and I lived there last year. I love Krispy Kreme. Yes! Uh, Krispy Kreme is awesome. Um, I think what we could do is we could do a save state. And let, let's play Chippendales. I'm in a mood to like pick up things and throw them. So why don't we um, do that? Let's see. Okay. So there is the sequel. I think I played the sequel and it wasn't as good as the first one. Hi, some dude. Yeah, we're playing NES games. If you have a request, let me know. I'm playing from the EverDrive, so I have pretty much every NES, Famicom game, ROM hacks, translations, uh, also Famicom disc games as well. Crystals is sort of like a White Castle, they have slider mini burgers. That sounds great, I love sliders. Those sliding mini burgers. Uh, I love Starbucks in the West. Um, yeah, I, I'm a big Starbucks fan, I don't want to do it all the time because it's pricey, but I do like Starbucks. Hey, Mr. Cherry. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, just doing the NES stream. If you have any requests, let me know. Thank you for everyone for coming out. I, I appreciate it. So should we be Chip or Dale? I'll let the chat decide. The first person who says it. Should we be Chip or Dale? Yeah, some dude. Um, I think I remember you talking about that in Hunter's stream. Uh, I also have the Game Boy Advance EverDrive, and I love it. Dale? Chip? Oh, MB got it before you. Okay, so we're gonna be Dale. DSLR Dale. Dale Height. Wait, how do I pick up objects again? Oh, okay. Here we go. 
And look at the sweat coming off his head. He's like, oh, this apple's heavy. This is another game that I think Doggo would like. How do I get across this? Oops. Uh, I love how easy this game is, yet long. Yeah, it is a long game. It did. Don't touch the cactus! Cactus. Oh. Oh, it's Buzzer. Buzzy. What was his name? Is Zipper? I forgot what his name was. that acorn for? Uh, I have hacked weed that's loaded with um, retro up to PS1. We watched someone do a pacifist run of this game. It was interesting. I never thought of doing a pacifist pacifist. I can't say that word. Um, pacifist. I can't say that word. Uh, <laughs> but I haven't heard of that. I I think that's in there is a have you guys played Cuphead? There is a, a mode in Cuphead. I think you get an achievement if you play through it without um, attacking any enemies or something. I forgot how to do that. It is Zipper. Zipper. Uh, do you know Feral the Feral? No, I do not. I think Down B moves you down the wires. Okay. Because one day she was playing this game. Okay. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, you can move down. Uh-oh, uh oh Oh! Uh, Cuphead, I love Cuphead. I like to play it on the CRT. Do you own a CRT? No, I don't. I, I'm, I'm all about fl the flat screens. Um. Want to see you play Cuphead? That would be cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe I will do a... I haven't played because I played Cuphead when it first came out and I did beat it. I haven't played it in a while. So yeah, maybe I'll do another Cuphead run. Because I tried playing it, because I beat it on normal, and then I tried playing it on hard, and I was able to beat all the bosses, but I couldn't do the flying levels on hard. Like, I just could not. It was uh, very challenging. Pick up these boxes. Oh. Um. I own like four. Okay. Well, yeah. CRTs are um kind of rare to find. It's funny how like it was just a few years ago where people are trying to get rid of their CRTs and now they're selling it as rare retro, you know, television. Now it's become like a thing. Those flying levels suck. Yeah, evil guy. I, I don't like them, actually. I don't... 
I'm just not, uh, it's, it's, they're just annoying. So, it's just frustrating because I could be Cuphead on hard if it wasn't for those flying levels. Yes. Um, that, that, I died a lot and it took many times, but I did, I did beat the, the devil in Cuphead. Oh, look, <laughs> that was Montana Max. What well, that was his name? No, Montana Max is from Tiny Toons. His name was, um, Monty, right? No. What was his name? Something, something with cheese. Monterey, Monterey Jack? Actually, I want to play Tiny Toons. Maybe we'll play Tiny Toons next. Yeah, but Doggo, that last level is really difficult. We have to roll the dice, and that part before the, the, the devil is really difficult. When you finally get to that, and then you get to the devil, that's a whole other difficult thing. It, it just takes a lot of patience, but... Uh... I do, and I have the achievement to prove it, that I did beat it. Um, you have an abundance in the southwest, we just got rid of 10. What, CRTs? You'd have CRTs just piling on top of each other? We graded a school to flat screens. Oh, we upgraded a school? Okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like, I guess if you want a flat screen, just go in front of a school, you see them all piled up. Ha ha ha, I tricked you, Rescue Rangers. The kitten was just a clever trap to lure you here. I've already caught your precious gadget. From now on, she's inventing things for me. You'll have to take her from my casino if you really want her back. Yes, we'll pull here. Uh, yeah, Bo, is that the furthest you got? Was the, the dice area? Did you get to the devil? That, that part's all about timing. You gotta time the dice to get those extra hearts um, and to land on like certain bosses because you can skip some of the bosses as long as you get a good roll on the dice. King dice. Yeah, that, that's tough though. That, that took me a long time to get past that. I had to actually like stop playing the game for a while then go back to it. That's how tough it was. What the heck was that? You could walk into a Goodwill and buy a CRT? Well, not around here. It's getting harder and harder to find CRTs. That's what you gotta- that's what you gotta do, though. Like, if we get- I forgot you could do this. You could just hide in the box. Look, I'm- I'm Solid Snake. Um... But, uh, yeah, that's what you gotta do. You gotta take a break, because sometimes it gets just too frustrating, and then you get angry. It's not worth it. It's- it's what you could just play something else and then go back to it. You, I- I very, um, easily get burned out on certain games when it gets too difficult. Especially when, like, I know what to do and yet I still can't do it is very frustrating. So I'm like, I'm gonna take a break. There's plenty of games to play, I'll come back to it. Oh! Um... Okay. I think on the next game over we can... Oops. We can try maybe Tiny Toons. Oh, the acorn gives you an extra heart. Yeah, can you believe the Disney Afternoon Collection is not on the Switch? Why, Capcom, why? These are- these are NES games. How could you not put it on a Nintendo console? And the thing is, it would sell more on the NES than on any other platform. So, I- I don't get it. Capcom doesn't want money. I don't- I don't get it. Literally everybody wants it. Apples, mmm.
Yeah, I think Doggo would like this game. fell in the pot, just like last time. Uh... Alright, no problem. Let's try not to fall in the pot this time. a fly here. Okay, good. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the heck is that thing? It just looks so derpy. Is that a cat? He cloned himself. He got another Dale. Let's hit him with an apple. There we go. Yeah, I recommend anybody get it. Um, I got it on the Xbox One when it was like five bucks. So I, I guess it's on sale also on PS4. So it's cheap. It's usually always on sale. So I recommend getting it. But again, I just think it's weird as not on Switch. How am I gonna get past this? I can't go back. I'm just gonna take the hit. Oh, I could drop down. I keep forgetting. Oh. Jumping around. Nice. GG's. Yeah, for guys, I just saw Fat Cat send some tough looking characters to Zone D. Also, watch out for fallen iron balls. Throw something at the switches to stop them. Uh, I guess we should go to D. Look, it's a bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. Uh-oh, that's a fake box. I missed. Oh, I like that I can shoot up. balls. Oh, talk about derpy. Look at that guy. What? What is that thing? Um... Okay. Uh, what's that rabbit doing? He looks angry. <laughs> oh no. can take more than one hit. Oops. 
<laughs> no. Oh. Um, what we can do is... Save state. And, uh... How about we play, um, Tiny Toons? Uh, so you have Tiny Toons 1, 2, and there was actually a cartoon workshop where you can make your own Tiny Toon cartoons, which is pretty cool. I did good. This is what I do, I jump around from game to game. So it doesn't mean I don't like the game. It's just like, I like jumping around. Because I have access to, to everything. Okay, so who should I pick as Buster's sidekick for level 1? Lucky, Dizzy, or Furball? First one to say. Yeah, MB, I, I uh, recommend it. I have one for, I'm using my ABS right now, but you can use it in your original NES. Um, only like FPGA based phone consoles, like the, um, the NT one, the analog NT and the ABS. I don't believe you can use it on software based clones like, um, the Retron 5 and stuff like that. For those, it won't work. Furball. Furball height. Nice. Nice. I actually own this cart. I had this game as a kid. Um, and I really like it. And yes, I have beaten it. Not easy, though. You still have your NES? Good. Yeah, furball height. Do you have a modded PlayStation 1? Uh, I do not have a modded PlayStation 1. Uh, I haven't checked around with PlayStation 1. There is some good emulators for PlayStation 1. So if I was going to play PlayStation 1, I would probably emulate. So I don't own a PlayStation 1. Uh, Jupiter Jeff was playing Bustin' Loose last night. Cool. Um, that's the Super Nintendo one, right? I don't think I've played that one. Hype, hype, hype. Nope, nope. Alright, we beat the first level. Um, Stuttering Stick, how do you play PS1? Do you have the original console? I've seen, um... They have that thing that replaces the the disk drive, right? Seen that, and you could just play games off an SD card. That's probably gonna change me back to Buster, so I'm gonna ignore that balloon. It's kind of like Mick Kids. It's kind of fun when it shouldn't be. Um, but why shouldn't it be? Yeah, Hampton. Okay, so we should get two one-ups here. Nice. The original console, I can't afford the mod, so I use Wii and... Yeah, I think I messed around with PS1 emulation on the Wii. It wasn't so great. Maybe there's been an update since, but I did not find it that accurate. It's kind of like N64 emulation was not very good. Tiny Toons is old enough to have a new game. Um, is it? Didn't they reboot? I think I feel like didn't they reboot Tiny Toons recently? I feel like they did. Yes, because Tiny Toons was the early '90s, so the NES kept going until the early '90s. Uh, it kept going until like '92, '93. Uh oh, Elmira. He will love you to death. Literally. There we go. <clears throat> Wario, yeah, Wario's Woods, I believe, was the last NES game, came out in 94, I believe. And then the one before that was 93, was Kirby's Adventure. Or maybe they were both 93. Oh my god. 
I'm not gonna turn back into Buster. I think we're doing good for a ball. Or that could be a heart. Let me check. But I think if you already have a heart and you get a heart, you get a one-up. Oh no, I don't want that. Okay. Uh, some games work, but that's why the PS Classic I use. Okay. I did hear that when you mod the NES Classic or Super NES Classic, that runs PS1 games better than the PS1 Classic, which is ironic. Aha! There we go. Okay, I'm doing good because I've played this game a lot as a kid, and I guess muscle memory. Uh, oh right, uh, I never heard of that's cool when you won't have enough buttons. Um, I'm not sure what controllers you can use with, um, the NES and Super NES. Like, if you can, uh, the, the classic ones, I, I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. For sure, you can use the any classic on the little so trite. All right, cool. Okay, so we should we pick for this level? I think there's underwater parts, so I think Plucky would be best. But what do you guys think? We should we go for first one to say in the chat. Oh yeah, she's saying, please go with Plucky. So, you think we should go with Plucky? We're just gonna do it. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. Lucky height. Lucky is OP in this game. Must get every carrot. Dope, dope. Dope, dope. Uh oh, underwater levels. I want to stay plucky, so I hope this is not the. Okay, good. Good. We're doing good with uh lives here. Oh, wanna... No? Hey, 
Hey Dark Solid, how are you? We're just playing some NES games. Welcome to the stream. If you have a request, let me know. Oh good Hampton's house. Jackal, okay. Uh, I don't have that much experience in Jackal. I have played it, but uh, we could jump into that. Oh wait, can I go? No, all right, there's something. Oh no, it's Elmira. There we go. So Dark Solid, how is uh, Mass Effect? Do you recommend the Legendary Edition versus playing the originals? Because all the originals are on Game Pass right now. Oh, well, luckily I had that heart. Oh no, I'm Buster. Maybe it's a good thing I'm busted. I don't know. There's nothing up here. I feel like there should have been a special thing up there. Main game that's worth checking out is the first game since they did a ton of graphic update. Okay, so you think the first game more than the, the other two is the, the main reason. Check out the legendary. Okay. Ow. Other two games are plus two it's on Game Pass, and you can get by with those instead. All right. Yeah, this guy's like Donkey Kong. He's throwing barrels. the third level is I think it's like a forest area I think we could I think we should use dizzy nope, nope. I'm not sure let's see what uh Shirley the loons oh uh, yeah she said go with dizzy Oh look, we're collecting uh, green apples now. Even though it still says carrots on the bottom screen, they didn't update the HUD. Oh! Is that our first death? That owl just dove right in. Okay. Oh, squirrel! Dizzy, hi! 
Oh, look, it's Sonic. <laughs> yeah, right? Do, 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 do. We're tiny, we're toony. We're all a little loony. Uh, I'm not gonna go there. Whoa, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Okay. Go on that. Oh. Platforming. <laughs> yeah, we're doing good so far. Oh. The Hampton's house is down there. Oh! <laughs> I like that uh, emote. That looks like something I would do. This music is very catchy. This is Konami, so... from the power to We're only going to get one I think it's worth it. One up high. Yeah, Evil Guy, have you played this game? I recommend it. It's a solid uh, platformer. Oh, well, there's a whole library to dive into if you haven't played the end. Hey, thank you, Jace, for the 10 biddies. I appreciate it. Hype, hype, hype. Bitty hype. Okay, 
Okay, I, just, I didn't know what was coming up. I don't know what's down there. Is it gonna just leap of faith? Fishies. Okay. This is not a good swimmer. Okay. So far, so good. Uh oh. I guess we go this way. Boss fight. Oh, oops. This is tricky. Oh, I keep missing him. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we did it. Oh! <laughs> oh no, did you see that? Oh, that was a clippable moment. If no one clipped that, please do so. That was a... That is what you call a big oof. And thank you, Cranky Boomer, for the follow. I guess you enjoyed that... That death there. That was a big oof. <laughs> that was funny. Yes, that's the appropriate sound. <laughs> Thank you, MB the Great. But that was a good one, right? That was an that was an epic fail. Yeah, it sucks. I, 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 I beat the boss. I did. Hi, William. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, this is a fun game. Have you played this before, Cranky Boomer? Okay, here we go with this boss fight again. Let's try not to do that again. Uh, the NES had a lot of games, yeah. Hey, William, thank you for the host. We survived this time. <laughs> oh. GG's. Where are my GG's? Nope, nope. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I believe Furball is good for this level. Let's see what Shirley Deloon says.
Uh, yeah, so I am playing on the EverDrive, so I have, like, every... Oh, it does say Furball. I have every NES game. I have a pretty good physical NES game and Famicom game collection. But I like playing on this thing because uh, I have everything. Uh-oh, watch out. What? Oh. Everything's out to get me. hesitated there for a second. I was like, I can't make that jump. Nice. I wish Nintendo made games available for the PC. Uh, well, they're into selling hardware, so they really want you to buy their hardware, so that's why they make their games um, exclusive to their hardware. But there are some games that... Um, like Monster Hunter Rise, like right now that's exclusive to the Switch, but I think next year it's coming to the PC. So there are certain games that are not first party games, but um, they're getting like kind of timed exclusives. Um, right now Monster Hunter Stories just came out, and I think it came out on Steam and Switch, but they're really heavily promoting the Switch version. This part is tricky. There's too much debris all over there. Like Sega is really good with um, you can get all kinds of Sega collections and stuff on Steam and um I'm defense by getting NES Classic, but I heard Switch has a store for NES games, but I haven't played no since the GameCube. Um yeah, so then if you um pay for the Switch membership. Um, the online membership, you get access to the NES and Super NES app, so you, you do have access to those games. Um, I didn't want to change the buster. If you could also get an NES Classic and you could mod it if you want, and then you'll have access to everything. So there's, there's different methods you can go about. Uh oh. Oh, that was tricky. Yeah, that's the best. Actually, MB, if you have that, then you don't really need to get an EverDrive. Like, if you have everything on there, it's it's up to you. If the emulation is really good, then you don't need to like run the games on actual hardware. It depends. Like if the emulation wasn't so great, then I would recommend all oh, play on real hardware. But if it plays pretty well, then you know. Had to disappear for a sec. No problem, some dude. We're making our way through this game. I'm on a roll. I uh, have to wait. I already spent 5k on audio gear. Whoa, that's a lot. Waiting for a MIDI concert. Hype, hype, hype. MIDI hype. Did you see that? There was a guy on Twitter recently. He made um, a cart for your Super Nintendo that you could hook up to a keyboard and you could actually play MIDI songs in real time using the, um, the Super Nintendo sound chip. It was really cool. So you could like... Um, Make your own Super Nintendo music. Ooh, on real hardware. Yeah, I just saw it on uh, Twitter. I, I think it's called the Super Medi something Super Nintendo. If you just do a search for that. Super Nintendo many player to pop up. I have a sound chip sample app contacts, but it does not let you program audio. Okay. So the guy who made this cart, I think it's got like a hundred bucks and it's like a limited amount. So. Uh 
uh, it's cheap to just mod a Wii. Uh, use the built-in NES games next to emulation, PC. Yeah, there's a really good um, NES emulator on the... If you want to mod your Wii, you can use that. You can also just inject games into the Wii Virtual Console. So there's, there's so many different ways. Like, you don't... You could use what you have to play NES games, basically. You don't have to um, buy additional... Because for me, NES is my favorite console, so that's why I went all out. Like, I got the ABS and I got the EverDrive. I'm not going to do that for, like, every console. I, I just wanted it specifically for this console. That's why I always tell people to, like, if you're a collector or a fan, just kind of focus on, like, one platform at a time. Damn it. Um... I dislike Alex Kidd Miracle World DX. I heard issues about that, William. I heard they're using the PAL version. Is that true? So, like, the game is kind of slow? Like, they, they used the PAL version as reference for that remake? Um, it's a shame because uh, I was interested in that. I really like Alex Kidd. Oh, this level is terrible. There's too much going on. Ugh. I really should not get more games. I have enough games for a lifetime. The Steam version doesn't use PAL. The Steam version has a drop frame rate. Okay. Yeah, Bo, you have too many games. You have a big old game collection. I think we, we all have, like, games just sitting on a shelf that we fully intend on playing. Someday. Oh, that was good. I'm trying not to get hit, because I only have one hit. Um, to spare. Whoa, I have 99 carrots? Oh, well, I don't have to worry about picking up carrots anymore. Oh. My wife has a lot of things for me to do, which means less time for games, if I ignore it more time in the doghouse. Alright. me oh the UFO this is rare this doesn't show up all the time this is like a random level it's pretty cool that we got it Okay, this is not good. When you when you dive from um, Elmira, they make you do the whole level all over again, starting from the first. I don't. I hate that. So we're gonna do a save state, and we're we're, we're gonna switch games. That that is some bull. Um, <laughs> I noted. I know. Was who was it? Was it Peter Steves or who was it that wanted Jackal? Um. Oh no, Stutter and Stick. Stutter and Stick. You want a Jackal, right? We could do that. Um, so yeah, when, when I get, I, when I get to a point in a game where there's some bull, that, that's when I, I switch out, when, when, when stuff like that happens. Yep, she squeezes you till there's nothing left. Um, have I played this? So I can shoot like that and I can throw grenades. Alright. 
You got the Konami goodness. We went from one Konami goodness to another one. It's kind of the only shoot up. Kind of difficult. Can I blow up these buildings? I can. Cool, we're rescuing people. Nice. Data East was hit and miss. There was actually a few okay Data East games, but like some of their NES ports were terrible. Like if you play Bad Dudes, um, the NES port's horrible. Like, it's just a glitchy mess. Not that the arcade version is great or anything, but there's a huge difference between the arcade version and the NES version of Bad Dudes. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, we're going this way. Um, and I feel you on the collecting thing. The Game View is my personal favorite console, which is why I was willing to drop so much money on the GC loader. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, whatever you're nostalgic about, whatever you grew up, whatever's your favorite console, just invest fully in that. I think a lot of people become overwhelmed and they start like getting a little bit here, a little bit there on, on all the consoles and they get overwhelmed and then they're broke and they, you know, it's just, just put all your money into like one thing that you really love. And, you know, yeah, go all out on the GameCube. That's awesome. Most other consoles I wouldn't drop that kind of money on. Just sucks that games are so expensive now. Yeah, especially GameCube. GameCube is huge. Just the prices went up dramatically. Same thing with PS2. Um, Xbox original games are not that pricey yet um, for some reason. But PS2 and GameCube are huge right now. Uh, Super Burger Time? Yeah, well, yum, I'll do Super Burger Time. Um, wait, Burger Time was on the NES, right? Was Super Burger Time also on the NES? I have to, I'm not sure about that. Robocop was awful. I like the first Robocop game on NES. Maybe we'll play that. But the, the Robocop 2 and 3 were horrible. Um, yeah, Williams against emulation. Well, I'm emulating right now, William. Uh-oh. Yeah, I want to pick up the original Xbox. Yeah, uh, uh, Bo, I got my Xbox, uh, original Xbox for like 15 bucks on eBay. That was such a great deal. Um, they, they just have no value. If you, if you go on eBay, um, you can find them dirt cheap. I don't know why. There's no value. Same thing with, uh, Dreamcast. There's just no value for Xbox and, um... Dreamcast. You can find the consoles pretty, pretty cheap. And I modded mine. Modding is very easy. Um. Oops. The only thing I've done with modding is like I, you can install your discs, which is nice because it cuts back on loading. So I, that's the only thing I've done with modding. I haven't done anything else with it. Um, I've just been um, enjoying playing games right off the, the hard drive. Um, I kick myself, not getting a Dreamcast. Cranky Boomer, go on eBay, type in Dreamcast, they're giving them away. They're literally not expensive. I don't know why I would think they would be. I think because there was a lot of Dreamcast, there was no shortage of that hardware. Sega really pushed those, those consoles out. So there's no shortage of Dreamcast. Um, you can get one dirt cheap. Uh, it's not bad since it's still relatively playing the games, but to be honest, you could just do the Xeno mod for 70 bucks cheaper. Um, I flash red. Williams flashing red. I missed my Dreamcast so bad, lost in the move. Yeah, Bo, you mentioned that. Hey, but you could always replace it. The Saturn collecting is hella expensive. Yes. So um, I bought my Saturn recently, um, and I, I love it. But the problem is the, the games are super expensive. But what I notice is the Japanese games are cheaper. 
um, because uh, there were more games and and um, in Japan, the the U.S. games were kind of limited in quality in quantity. Uh, also, the boxes are so fragile. Like they got just regular jewel cases for their games in Japan, but over here we got those weird big jewel cases. So what I do is I bought I buy um, some of the Japanese versions, and they're usually complete with the booklet and the case. And then for the U.S. versions, I buy just the loose discs. Um, but for the really popular games, I, I burn copies. I'm able to burn copies of games and, and play them. We did it! Uh, the GC Loader breaks the Game Boy Player feature. Does it? Some dude, is that true? I'm not a, I'm not a console modder due to soldering. It's not for me. Um, I only do soft mods. I don't do hardware mods. I don't know how to solder either. Um, the thing has died so quickly, like the Jaguar, it was all over the ads, just disappeared. Yep, that's true. They, they advertised the Saturn pretty heavily, and the Jaguar. Both were advertised pretty heavily here in the US, and both did terribly. Um, I would love a Jaguar. They were giving them away brand new at KB Toy Store for like 5, 10 bucks, or 20 bucks because nobody wanted one, and I really wish I would have grabbed one, because now it's super expensive. I want one, but it doesn't seem like I'm ever going to be able to get one. Um, sorry, I just watched my mama play Pokemon Snap. Yeah, Pokemon Snap is awesome, doggo. Do you like that game? I like it. I, I beat it. Uh, the Game Boy Player needs a startup disc. Um, you can use, yeah, uh, William, you can use um, the custom firmware. People have made their own um, interface with that, so you can just use that. You don't have to use the actual disk. Um, there's more visual options um, with that. So yeah, that works. Yeah, but William, you don't have to use the official disk. You could, you could just use the... Um, a fan made one that is better actually. Okay, let's rescue people. Help. Oh no. Uh, yeah, uh, Bo, uh, fans made their own custom software to use with the Game Boy Player on the GameCube. Um, because what happens is, the, um, the way the Super Game Boy wor the Super Game Boy, the Game Boy Player works is you have to put the disc in the GameCube, and then that's how you're able to load the Game Boy Advance cart that's in the Game Boy Player. And for some reason, those cart, those, those discs, I guess, I don't know, everyone lost it. <laughs> those discs are super expensive. You can find the uh, Game Boy Player, but the disc is super expensive. And so fans made their own um, disc. You can make it, you could burn it on a, on a mini DVD, or you could use it if you're using the, um, the, the loader that some dude has. You could just run it off that thing. And it has way more resolution options and visual options than the original software. So it's actually better. You get a higher resolution, I believe, with that Game Boy interface, I think it's called, right? Neo Geo would be one I would really want. Yeah, you know, I didn't even know about Neo Geo growing up. I didn't know about TurboGrafx-16 growing up. I only found out about that like years later. Um, seeing at the software, etc. at the mall. So beautiful and shiny. Whopping $500. Whoa! I will be emulating GameCube right now. <laughs> All right, go for it, William. Uh, welcome to the dark side. Pokemon Snap. We found Charmander, Slugma, Pikachu, and more. That's awesome. I want to go back to it because I did beat the game, but I did not find every Pokemon. There are Pokemon I have not signed because, you know, every time you play, you level up. And then when you level up and you go back to the same area, Pokemon you never saw will appear. So I still need to uh, go back to that. And I'm really sad that there's no Psyduck in the new Pokemon Snap because Psyduck is my favorite Pokemon. But for whatever reason, they decided no Psyduck. And I don't think we're getting DLC. I was thinking maybe we'll get DLC. No. 
It was $500 in 1991. That is crazy. <laughs> I see a mini boat. I begged my mom for one. She laughed so hard. That that is a tough. Spending five hundred dollars on a console is always just. I don't know. That's a tough call. Even now, it's just that's a lot. That's why I'm surprised that that new uh, Switch OLED model is three hundred and fifty. Like three hundred was already a tough sale. That's why I think I think the Switch Lite at two hundred is a good deal. Nintendo always tries to keep their hardware um, affordable. Um, we're doing pretty good in this. This is the furthest I've ever gotten in this. I've only played it like a little bit. I've never gotten it. Trying to send these guys to that helicopter, but everyone's shooting at me. Okay, come on, guys. Oh, that was it? Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, where did he come from? There we go. Yay, we did it. Um, I don't see why Nintendo do GameCube on PC. Uh, Nintendo doesn't want to put any of their systems on PC. They want you to buy their hardware. Um, the problem is Nintendo is not catering to the people that want to play Nintendo 64 and GameCube. And so I, I, that's why people are emulating and doing all this stuff. Like if people would be willing to pay money to Nintendo to play this stuff, but they don't. They could easily add like a Nintendo 64 and GameCube app the switch they could if even if they raise the, the subscription i think it's worth it and 988 dollars in today's money oh no it was nuts the games were 100 and 150 yes I've, I've seen neo geo carts neo geo carts were full arcade motherboards so they were in these giant carts it was it's insane that's why it was so expensive because you're literally getting heart uh, arcade motherboards I'm still not sure I feel about spending 450 on a PS5 since there's barely anything. Yeah, some dude wait. Everybody should wait. There is no reason to get a PS5 right now. Um, everything is just everything's kind of on PS4, and then the the PS5 is like the enhanced versions. There's no real exclusives other than Demon Souls and the new Ratchet and Clank, and everything else is just upgraded version. So yeah, I say just wait a bit. The console is hard to get right now anyway. Uh, why the shortage? Uh, the same reason as video cards. Um, th there's chip. There's a chip shortage. I did hear that Sony is trying to change the chipset in the PS5 so they can start manufacturing because that's why they're not been, they have not been able to put out enough. There's a chip shortage, which is a reason why Nintendo hasn't made a Switch Pro. They wouldn't be able to put a new chipset in there. So they're just kind of doing other cosmetic things. We have the Switch in the meantime, so I think we're not going to see a Switch Pro until the, the, sh the chip shortage is done. But it has a lot to do with the mining of cryptocurrency and that crap. Um, you know the meaning of life? It is 42. Okay, doggo. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, same reason it affects a ton of other stuff. Um, yep. There's really no reason to get a PS5 now. Yeah, there's not. Uh, I'm still very happy with my 1080. All right. Still waiting for the eventual mid-cycle upgrade. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's just like, N Nintendo knows that if they come out with a Switch Pro that has its own software, that's gonna divide the, the, the fan base right now. They're doing really well with the Switch. There's no reason to put out another... Like, let's say they'll have exclusive Switch Pro games. That will divide and confuse the market. There's no reason to do that right now. And like I said, the chip shortage. So it, it it may happen next year or maybe the year after because remember the Switch is like almost four over four years old at this point. So there's gonna be another either a revision or just a new Switch. 
Hardware vision or whatever their next handheld is. Or hardware or whatever. We're entering like unknown territory. We don't know what they're gonna do. Are they gonna like is the switch is the current switch gonna be their their handheld and then they'll make it the home console? Or are they gonna stick to doing the hybrid? Like we don't know. Hey, thank you, Cranky Boomer, for the sub. I appreciate it. Welcome. Now you can use my fancy schmancy emotes. Uh, I love that Dorito um, emote. Uh, I am still PS4 and PS PS3. Yeah, stick to those. Um, there's no reason to get a Series S or X either. Uh, if you have an original Xbox One or an Xbox One S, you can use Game Pass and you have access to everything. There, there is currently nothing exclusive to Xbox Series S or X. There is just like 4K upgrades if you want to play those. But if you don't care about 4K and you already have an Xbox One, there is no reason to get that. And that's what sucks. There is no reason to get a PS5 or Series X now. And gamers are like, give us a reason. We want to support this hardware. But so far, there's like not really a reason. Uh, I'm just happy SNK releases a lot of their Neo Geo titles on Steam. Yeah, and they, they released that really cool arcade cabinet plug and play thing, I think. And I think that they could, uh, a arcade joystick thing plug and play they did too. I already have a PS5. Oh, you already have one? Okay. The only reason I got it was because um, I only had a base PS4. Yeah, so PS4 games will run better. I think there's some glitchy ones, but for the most part, I think PS4 games will run better on PS5 if you didn't have a PS4 Pro. So you're gonna get those benefits. Uh, bag of Doritos, Dorito hype. So William, if you don't own a PS4, then yeah, you might as well just wait till the uh, PS5 becomes more available. Or, um, I don't know, up to you. Okay, what do I do here? Because I'm shooting at this thing and I can't... Oh... I'm not sure how to fight that boss. Did somebody else make a request for a game? Let me know and remind me. Because we can switch to that right now. Upgrades, upgrades for me cause breakage. You might as well wait for the PS5. Hi, diehard gamer. Welcome to the stream. Yes, thank you, Cranky. Uh, we, we can do burger time. Maybe we'll do a save state. Maybe we'll come back to this at some point. So there is burger time, but I wanna know, is there a super burger time? Uh. There is not. So there's just regular burger time. I believe Super Burger Time was what? Was that Super Nintendo? Uh, uh, what was Atari? Burger Time, burger time was first on, in the arcades and then they ported it to the NES. I don't know if there was a burger time on Atari. I don't believe so. Uh-oh, the eggs and the sausage are coming after me. Here's another game Doggo Gamer would like. But it is not easy. So you could throw salt and pepper and that like stuns them temporarily. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're all after me right now. My, I got stuck there for a second. I'm just ignoring the ice cream because, uh... Trying to survive here.
You gotta get more patient with games before we try stuff like this. Yeah, this game will, will get you really mad. This game in particular is, is, is difficult. When your meal attacks you. Yes, evil guy. I'm so terrible at games. Um, what? I'm sure you're better at some games than others. Um, don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, that's what I say about my diet. There are only super working in the arcades. Oh, okay. Thank you, Die Hard, for the, the clarification. Um, I do do arcade streams. Uh, I haven't done one in a while, but maybe we will do a super burger time. Oops. Okay. So anyone's new to the channel, I recommend checking out my VODs because you can see my, my past streams. And also, um, you can follow me. That's my website. It has a link to my Twitter. I always, I'm very active on there and I post every time I go live. And also there's a link to my YouTube channel. I post all of my archives on YouTube. Oh. Uh, I need to start chicken tacos. Uh, enough for everybody. Mm, yes, I would like some. Make some for me too. Um, have you played Buckle Your Hair? <laughs> we could do that next. Uh, yeah, when Kev said he was gonna start Bucky O'Hare, I was like, oh no, he's gonna hate that. Oh, I would, I would, I was trying to use pepper, I was out of pepper. I have to use, uh, salt, or... Um, Bucky O'Hare's tough. Um, I always try to start with the green level, because that's the easiest, and I can't even get past the green level. So. That, Bucky O'Hare is tough. Um... Okay, we got the cheese. I, I don't know how to get past... Okay, there we go. Let's try to get all the way to the top. I got stuck. So you, you can easily get stuck right at the edge of the ladder, which is really annoying. I think most people only get up to the second level and then rage quit. I think that's that's the consensus. William, are you good at this? Cause this is tough. I can't even get past the second level. We could play Donkey Kong. We'll give it one more go, William. We'll give it one more go. I used my pepper too quickly, I think. Whoa. But William, Super Burger Time, wasn't that only on the arcades? Where, 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 what, what port of Super Burger Time are you referring to? I'm bad at Contra. Well, Contra is tough. I mean, who, um, I think in order to be good at Contra, you would have to be a speedrunner, or you would have to be someone that plays non-stop. Like, Tony Uncle can do loops of Contra. Like, he could just, because when you beat Contra, it starts up again, so he does loops. Um, but you... it takes a lot of dedication. One of those games... Wow, I'm not good at it. just gives me the nostalgia vibes. Yeah, Bucky O'Hare? Yes. Uh, it got ported to PC on Steam. Oh! I did not know that. It's so far so good, we haven't used any of the pepper. He does get stuck. Uh-oh. Uh. I, I wished I gifted John a Steam game. Um, okay, if you want to gift me bur Super Burger Time, you can go ahead and do that. I will happily accept it. I don't know how that how much that's going for. How much is Super Burger Time? Plus, you don't have to. I could just... Like I said, I... I uh, I have a retrocade where I play my arcade game, so I could just play it on that. Not to buy me again. What happens if I get the ice cream? It's just points?
Well, Retro Arc is extremely complicated, so I do not use Retro Arc. I really don't. I, I, I prefer using just individual emulators, and I just use that, and it works fine for me. The Retro Arc is just so complicated. The, the UI is not intuitive. The UI is... Plus, it, it, there's too many individual settings for everything, and it never saves correctly, and I don't know, just for me it doesn't... I had a, a lot. I had a lot of trouble configuring a controller. Like I didn't want to save the stuff, and it just—I don't know. It was just too complicated. And then you need a different core for everything. It just no. Uh, I prefer just individual emulators. They work fine. So, oh! <laughs> it wasn't just you. No. Console Kev, he ra there, there was, yeah, there was a stream where it was just him, um, raging, trying to figure out, um, Retro Arc. It was pretty funny. And Kev is, like, ten years younger than us, and even he couldn't figure it out. So, I guess only people in their early twenties can figure out Retro Arc. Yeah, you prefer- yeah, because I, I- I- like, the, uh, Visual, uh, Boy Advance is a great Game Boy and Game Boy, um, Advance, um, emulator. Um, what's the Super Nintendo one? The Super Nintendo was the SNES 9X. That's a great Super Nintendo emulator. Um, Stella is a great Atari emulator. So there's a lot of great individual emulators. So I don't really- don't know the point of using RetroArch. Um... A person in my early 20s, I'm definitely not a fan of it. Okay, some dude, we're making assumptions. So, so who, who can use Retro Arc then? We ran out of age groups. Uh, Retro Arc is a headache because I tried using Retro Arc on Linux and couldn't figure it out how to get the audio. Yeah, that's the problem with Retro Arc. There's always something off. Like you're using the wrong core. You have to keep changing the core per game. Like there's literally not a core that plays every game. Isn't that ridiculous? Especially like Nintendo 64. Like you need like certain cores for certain games. And it tells you which core works for each game. And it's just too complicated. Like I, I just don't get that. Um, all right, so that's enough of that. Let's do Bucky O'Hare. Uh-oh. Here we go. Okay, Bucky O'Hare and his crew, Blinky, Deadeye, Jenny, Willy, fight to save the uh, Anniverse from the Toad Menace. One day, a transport bringing Bucky's crew to the Righteous was attacked. The Toads kidnapped Bucky's crew. Blinky is a captive on the Green Planet. Deadeye is sent to the Red Planet. Jenny is held at the Blue Planet, and Willy is held on the Yellow Planet. Air Marshal, ha ha ha, Bucky O'Hare, your friends are mine, you are next. Bucky escaped the Toad Armada by a hair's whisker. Now he must save his loyal crew from enslavement by the terrible Toads. Okay, so which planet should I do, folks? Green, red, blue, or yellow? I think you're supposed to start with green, but I'm gonna let the chat decide. Uh, it's cool on the PS Vita, though. You got the Dreamcast to run on Vita now. 10 to 15, 20 frames. Is that good, though? 10 to 20 frames? I don't know. Uh, Dreamcast emulation has definitely gotten better, I know, on, like, retro pies and stuff. I think it runs well. But for the longest time, it didn't. Um, Saturn emulation is still not great, as far as I know, and N64 emulation is still not great. So I feel like if you're a retro gamer, invest in those consoles. In invest in getting a Dreamcast Saturn or N64, but those seem to be the toughest to emulate. I think PS1 emulates fine. Um, so that's why I did that. I, I focused on getting a Saturn because I knew the emulation sucked. So, um... Yeah, Bo, which, uh, which planet should I do? 
not interesting, um, so interesting to see it on a handheld. Yes! Um, it would be cool if Sega invented, like, a portable Dreamcast. Like, I've seen some modded portable Dreamcasts. Um, those are really cool. Um, we're gonna go with Green Planet, I guess. Alright, good. So if you hold down the power button, you do a super jump. That's how you get that. Ooh, I got hit. Got hit again. Oh, I can't get up there. There we go. Um, PS1 emulated perfectly fine considering it runs on PSP. Okay. They finished my ninja, uh, at a scene. Alright, well, welcome, Wolf. How are you? If you want to recommend an NES game, let me know. I'm sure you want me to play Mega Man 3 because it's your favorite, wink wink. Slack off height. Oh, I forgot I could shoot up. I love any game you can shoot up. Oh, ow. <laughs> Hi, Henny in the system. Uh, there is no Harvest Moon on NES. But uh, if there was, I would play it. Welcome to the stream. I love Null. Null is my favorite. I'll play Contra. I'm not a fan of River City Ransom. I think that game is good two players, but single player, it's not fun, in my opinion. But, uh, I haven't- I'm not good at Contra, though. I could barely beat the first level, but we, we can- we can do it. Uh, yeah, Henny, if you want to recommend, um, an NES or Famicom or Famicom Disk System, what I have right now. Uh, no, we're doing NES right now. No problem, though. But you know what? I, um, I do N64 streams, and I would, I've been wanting to play Harvest Moon 64. Like, really invest time and, and play it. Because I, I remember hearing that, um... They were gonna put that on the Wii Virtual Console, and they, they said they couldn't because of technical issues. Because I think that game you have to use the memory pack to save, and there was just issues with that, and they couldn't port it. See, this part. I cannot see Kev do this part. This part is platforming hell. I don't know how to get that, so I'm just not gonna get it. Oh! I psyched out. We get that. But we're just not. Um, I guess we're going this way. Oops! <laughs> he died in like an inch of water. Did you see that? It was only like, like an inch or two of water. And he died. I'm not sure, we're, are we supposed to like go back on that log or are we supposed to somehow try to keep going forward? Maybe we should try to go this way? Oops, I died. 
So that's how you get the one up. Okay, we'll do that. But I didn't know if the log was gonna move or not. Now we know. Oh, I almost screwed up right there. Ah, that's how you do it. All right, all right. We're learning, people. We're learning. I have to figure out how to transition on the, the log there. Yeah, I want to see if Kev can do that. And can Kev get past that part? So yeah, I, I, I like the idea of this game, but it's just, I can't even get past this part. There we go. Karate Champ? Alright, we can play Karate Champ. Oh, okay, it automatically, like, falls down. Okay. I don't know if I put much time into Karate Champ. So, ooh! Um, I don't know if I put much time into Karate Champ. So, we, we could definitely check that out. Oh! Yeah, Bo, I want to see if you can beat um, this first stage, because I can't even do it. I wonder if Wolf can do it. You'll try on your next stream? Yeah, let, let me know, because I, I can't even beat this stage. What if I just don't move? I'm just not gonna move. Let's see what happens. Ah, okay. Just don't move. I was overthinking it. Okay. Oh! I messed up. I was prepping for the jump, but I shouldn't have. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna give it one more go and then we'll switch games. Yeah, have you have you like gotten far in this die hard or this this is ugh. Okay, now I charge. Jump! Oh I didn't know the platform was gonna disappear, but now I know. Now I know. See how are you supposed to know? See? Like some of the platforms drop and some don't. That's cruel. That is cruel, I tell you. Cruel. They don't have Dog Old Gamer play this one. Oh, we did it. Uh, 
Uh, we did it. We did it, folks. We did it. What the heck? Uh, what do we do here? Do we just fall? Well, I guess we do. Um... Um... Oh. Oops. I assume I have to jump up on those things, but... Okay, I can't go up, so I just have to keep going across? Okay. Okay, that was good. Oh! Boss time! Oh, oh. Ow! <laughs> I don't know if that was clippable, but that, that was a nice clippable moment, I guess, maybe. I'm not sure. Oof! What am I supposed to do there? Okay. I think I'm going to hit him from behind, it seems. I did it! Okay, that's the challenge, Bo. Can you beat the first level? I just beat it. GG's. <sighs> Thank you, Captain. I've rescued a toad weapon that will smash walls of ice and stone. It also acts as a rocket pack, Captain O'Hare. Allowing you to fly. Alright! Thank you for the GG's. So what's what uh, planet now? I think they said it can break you ice and rock. So I think we can go for red or blue. So uh, what uh, planet should be next? Blue? Alright. Okay, look, we could change to... Uh, this dude. Oh, okay. Oh, where did he come from? Blue is next. Is, is this the stage you're supposed to do next? Like, I don't know if there's a specific way you, you have to go through. What? What is that? Oh, wait a minute. This is like, uh, Battletoads. I recognize this. Oh, what killed me? The controls are very slippery right here. Should I get that P? Get the P. Oh! I've only beaten the green planet so far. Oh, at least it continues me here. Oh! Uh, 
I don't think I'll be able to... Oh, I was. Okay. Whoa! Hey, that was not fair! They trolled me. Maybe I have to change? Yeah. Okay. I got greedy. I got greedy right there. Oh, they can melt the platforms. Didn't know that. You know what? We might have to change back to Bucky. Oh, I bumped my head! <laughs> oh no. Oh, I don't like the melting platforms. I don't like it. Just, and everything's slippy. Everything's slippy, Toad. Oh, can I jump, please, in peace? Stop shooting at me. There we go. I assume you have to go up? Or... Oh! Okay. Maybe I just have to blow this thing up? I think I just have to survive. Oh, uh oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, good luck with this, though. Good luck. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my god. Maybe this guy's better? Or not? I don't know. Oh! Ooh, I died. Yeah, nice. We, we, we beat that part. I gotta figure out this part. It's just too slidey. A little bit. Okay, I can't defeat those guys. Unless I switch to Bucky for that. No. Okay, you cannot fight them. Okay, I'm just gotta wait for them to break the ground. Oh. I'm not sure what you do here. Does anybody know what I do here? <laughs> what do I do here? I can't- I can't kill the enemies. If I drop down there and move left, I die. Um, if I- if I break that ice and move right, I, I'll die. Um...
So yeah, figure this one out. Oh, okay. I get it now. Oh! I swear, if you just touch the sides of the spikes... Figuring this out so you don't have to vote. Uh, thank you, Rushy, for the 6,000 channel points. Make me play Wario Land Shake It. Hype, hype, hype. I think I already gave you a shout out, Rushy, but I'll give you another one. You have played the arcade of this? Yes, the arcade Bucky O'Hare is completely like underrated. It's on par with Turtles, X Men, and Simpsons. But yet, no one talks about it. But it's a really great game. How you doing, Rushy? Yeah, let me know if you have a request for an NES game. Uh, we're going to be doing a uh, Karate Champ next. I'm trying to get good at Bucky O'Hare. This is the furthest I've ever gotten, so we're, we're doing okay. Oh, okay. I've never been here. Oh, well that was good. Oh! I'm supposed to get you that. Oh. At least they give you unlimited continues. At least I think they're unlimited. Uh oh. It's a pink alligator shooting missiles at me. It's reminding me of Leatherhead from Ninja Turtles. Oh, the water's rising. Oh! Oh, this is... this is... intense. Maybe switching to Bucky would be better. Oh, 
Oh, so many hits. Yeah. He takes a lot of hits. Yeah, good luck with this one. Oh wow! <laughs> GG's! That was a lot of... Ugh. Yeah, you think Cab will get this far? No, I, I severely... I seriously, seriously, seriously doubt you get Hi Captain, we can croak all the toads with my Bean Blaster and Toad Turbo Ball. Nice. So, should we do red planet or yellow planet? I'll let the chat decide. Hype, hype, hype. GG's. Where am I GG? I will GG myself. I'm gonna spam my emotes. This is a celebration. There we go. Hype, hype, hype. Alright, so should we do red planet or yellow planet? I think the red planet is all fire, right? I don't know if Jenny would be good in that yellow planet. I don't remember what was on the yellow planet. But I guess let this go for red. Uh, here's Jenny. Oh, she can hold. Oh, okay. That power is actually a, a lot like Ness in Smash Brothers, where you control the the ball. Red Planet is pretty tough. I tried that. I played this as a kid. I went to the Blockbuster. Okay. But hopefully we'll have good luck. Fireball hit me and messed up my jump. That sucks. We were right at the end, too. Maybe we should just use Bucky. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, he can shoot down, so maybe I can shoot this guy. There we go. Enemy just disappeared. Okay, so far so good. Got it. 
Oh, but how are we gonna get across now? We could use this guy. Oh, we did it. Okay. Oh no, this is like Mega Man uh, Quick Man stage. Oh no. Gotta be quick. Run, Mega Man! Oh no. <laughs> okay, when I go left, I just gotta go right. Uh, I don't need that. No! This is tough. Uh No, oh, I just need to go left. Is one of these characters faster than the other? Maybe he's faster. I didn't... I didn't mean to hold down there. Maybe I'll use Jenny. No, she's slower. She she bangs her head on the ceiling there. I think this little guy's that. Oh, 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 oh. This is all about memorization. matter which character you use, just not fucked up and use like Sonic the Hedgehog. I think I would have better luck doing this part if I was Sonic the Hedgehog. I was right there at the end too. Also, do you know if this game has unlimited continues? Because I'm just scared that all of a sudden it's just gonna say game over. I did it, people! How did I do it? I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Oh, look at the graphics here. I really like this graphic effect right here. Every time you drop down, you have to slowly start up again. Okay. Yeah, life force. Yeah. I control issues. Welcome to the stream. Um, I wasn't... Planning on beating Bucky O'Hare, but we're getting really good. I think we're like halfway through the game or close to it. And how are you doing? Um, have you have you beaten this? Look out from an app. Well, welcome. What's going on here? I like how the little arrow is pointing that way. Like, I don't know to go that way. Oh, what's going on here? Uh oh.
<laughs> oh boy! Was this game meant for children? Oh, I want that life thing. Give me Frogger vibes, yeah. How am I supposed to kill this guy? How annoying. I don't need that one armor. It's like riding the Mega Moles. Uh, what Mega Moles? Where is that from? You mean from Super Mario World? The moles with the sunglasses? Oh, did you see that? That was nice. What? Did you see that? What the heck? Uh... Uh... That big ball looked like something from Super Mario World. Uh... <laughs> I'm legit scared now. I think I... I th uh... I don't care about that. I, I don't care about those. Oh, I was right at the end too. Oh, okay. We got, not the second boulder. We have to jump. I jump. <laughs> Again, it's all about memorization and patience, right? Oh! Uh oh. I think uh, Jenny would be good here. Uh oh. Uh, Rushy, yeah, the game is good. It's just really hard. Uh, good. You don't have to do the laser part over again. Yeah. Oh, she- I just got rolled over. Okay, there I have to change to Bucky.
Where's my GG's? Uh, yeah, Rushy, this is a very good game. I recommend giving it a shot. Uh, Console Kev said he was playing it. I'd like to know how far- I think he rage quit early on. And look at me, I'm, we're, up, we're close to beating this, actually. Deadeye, there's a Toad Blaster which I just lifted from the Toad Arsenal. It was no problem zapping around in this Toad Rocket Pack. Zoomed right over the Toad Walls. Nice. Now we're up to the Yellow Planet. So now with the Duck. Duck height. We're getting hit too much. What is his power though? Like he's I'm not sure what his power is, but Okay. I should have given that life to, to Deadeye. bother with that one up? I mean, I could, I could get it. No, I don't think I can. I'm that high. A lot of button smashing happening right now. Ooh! Need a better jump for that. But well, where do I go now? Maybe I fly? Yeah, okay. Not sure how I get to that. Because I still don't know what his power is. Like, he just jumps up? Is so he just jumps like, uh, Bucky? Oh, I didn't know you could ride on those things. Oh, that changes everything. Okay. Okay.
Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I thought those rocks hit me, but they don't. Platforming height. Yeah. This is you you this is just pure platforming skill. It's not easy, but you gotta be on your game. Ugh. Okay, I need to jump on that one. You gotta you gotta have skills. Oh, I did it! Oh no, what's going on here? Oh shit! This is like Kid uh, Dracula. <laughs> what was that about? Okay, so when we get to the end of that, we have to jump. Okay, now we know. like attacking my eyeballs. Oh. Yes, definitely control issue. Yes. Yep, miss one connection, you're screwed. I psyched myself right there. I anticipated the jump when I didn't need to jump. I guess it doesn't matter what character I use.
Oh, well, I didn't know there were going to be spikes. Now we know. There's some battle toads. Yes. Isn't this very Battletoads-ish? This is like very Battletoads Turbo Tunnel type of stuff. And again, this scrolling is hurting my eyes. So I apologize if it's hurting the eyeballs of anyone watching right now. I like that it, at least it slows down. Imagine if it didn't slow down when you have to change. Like, that would be pure evil. At least it slows down. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. I have to anticipate the slowdown. Oh! That was cruel right there. I was literally typing that. That that's tricky right there. I don't know if I'll be able to get past that. That's really tricky. That this is pure evil right here. This pure evil guy. Keep watching. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Ugh. But they do give you unlimited continues, which is nice, right? Considering how difficult... I'm okay if a game is really difficult, as long as they give you unlimited continues. Because that's just cruel, and like, die and it's like, game over. And you can make the game as hard as you want, but at least give me an opportunity to try to beat it. going a little slower now. I psyched myself. Okay. You have to like fight the urge to jump. That's the, the issue with this.
Oh, that was close. I keep psyching myself right there. I don't know why I do. I keep anticipating like I'm gonna get hit. You know, I know I'm not. Facts, uh, fast reflexes are not a good thing. Yeah, that's that's the thing is with this you have to like I keep I'm fighting the urge to jump at the in the at the wrong times, you know? I have to keep telling myself only jump when the thing slows down. <laughs> like only jump when it slows down. This is the part where I'd be able to do it. I did it. Oh, how did I survive that? Oh, 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 no. It just keeps going. Why does it keep going? I want it to end. I don't know if I, I can't keep going after that. I don't know. I can't survive that much further. Ooh. I hate to end the, the, the gameplay with this, but should I just move on to another game? Or I've come so close to the end. Should I keep going? Yeah, they had fun making this level. I don't know, should I rage quit and move to another game? I'll let the chat decide. Because I don't think I could beat this level. Like, I don't... If, it had en if the level had ended there, I could keep going. But I, 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 I don't have the fast reflexes to keep going there. It's like a weird looking Donkey Kong. Hi Blamo, how are you? Oops. Welcome to the stream. Yay, no, no hype. Yeah, I've been I've been on this level for a while now. The control issues is giving me encouragement, so we're, we're gonna keep going. I'm good. How are you been? Uh, if you have a request for an NES game, let me know. <laughs> yep. That was the furthest I had gotten though, so that was a nice try. That's where I died last time too. Okay. Yeah, Kev definitely is not gonna be able to do this.
yeah, just this part is just I I can't do for some. This is cruel right here. Did we do it? We did it, people! It only took me like 500 million tries. But I did it. GG's for me. I've been pretty good, by the way, uh, in this run and gun type of game. I've never seen it before. Yes! So I this is made by Konami. It's like extremely difficult platforming, shooting, shooting, shooting. But they give you unlimited continues. So that's what I'm saying. A game, I'm fine with a game being hard. As long as just give me unlimited continues. Just give me a chance. You know what I mean? Actually, live. Yeah, so they gave me a whole bunch of stuff to collect right at the end. Let me stretch. My hands and arms hurt. Um, I was going to say you're really close to the end of that level. <laughs> I was like, is, this, is there an end to this level? Does it ever end? Ugh. Okay, what shenanigans are next now? Oh my god, what's that? Uh oh. Maybe Jenny's good. Oh, I didn't know it was going to rush at me like that. Okay. Duck. Oh, did you see that? That was like a death laser right there. Jeez. I'm gonna stay down here. Oh, okay. At least it's at least we don't gotta do that level again. I keep- I'm running out of health. I'm getting hit too many times. Damn frog tanks. I know, right? My problem is I'm getting hit too many times and my- my health bar is low. Maybe I should get in closer? Maybe that's what I do. Maybe I, I just... I use Jenny and I just stay on that side. I did it the first time. No, that didn't work. No. Okay. I'm gonna stay over here. Shoot this thing. Shoot it a bunch of times before it charges. Hide. Yeah, boss does a lot of damage. It, he, he's doing a lot of damage. My health's going down. There's a lot of stuff going on. This thing's flying all over the place.
Okay, he charges right after that. There's not going to be time. Okay. You, you basically, it's just all memorization and be like, how much time do I have to get in attacks before I have to duck? That's basically... So right here, I have plenty of time. Duck. Shoot, 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 duck. I don't have time to jump, so don't jump there. Shoot, 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 duck. Uh oh, duck. Thing is, my health. Look at my health. I keep- there's no way for me to dodge that- that wave- that- that attack of fireballs. Um... I- I- I, I don't know. If my health bar was doubled, I could probably not have that much issue doing this. Hmm. way to avoid all those attacks. See? Does anyone have any suggestion? You try another character. That's what I'm trying to. Well, he shoots up. This one shoots up. So. Problem is, I keep getting hit. Maybe not take out that that thing on top of his head. Maybe I should just focus on the other things first. I'll try that. I shouldn't use this character because he I'm hitting that thing on top. Okay. I think that might help if I take out the guns that are shooting at me first. That might be the way. Okay. That one on the bottom is where the fire is coming from, right? No. I don't have enough health to, to do it. Hmm. 
Well, it's a tank. Hmm. It's super tanky. Yeah, I hate to end the game here, but I don't really see what I'm supposed to do. If I die here, I'm just gonna go back to doing what I was doing before and take out the little satellite dish thingy above its head for Oh wait, did you see that? I don't get hit if I stay still, but I have to stay still in a very specific spot. Okay, if I stay still here... Oh, okay, wait. If I stay still here, I don't get hit. If I go over... Oh! Oh! Do you see that? I just have to, I just have to memorize where, I, where do I stand. Oh, I did it! I did it, people. Um. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're 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 good. We're 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 good. Oh, we're shooting its eye now. Okay, maybe I could change to. Yeah, I don't know why it took me a while to see that pattern, but it, it did. When, where there's a will, there's a way. GG's, people. Give me my GG's. Wow. Thanks, Bucky. While I was held captive, I kept busy putting together a new weapon. It's my one-shot does-it-all blaster. You can call it the Thumber. If you press the fire button longer, it just gets stronger. So we got like a charge shot. Bucky brought his brave crew together again. Oh no, it's a trick which the toad set to capture Bucky O'Hare. Oh, we're going in the froggy mouth. Damn toadies. Wake up, Blinky. Captain, we're trapped in a toad mothership. Uh, they've taken my crew for sport. Captain, we must save the crew before- Wait, we just rescued the crew, now we gotta rescue them again. Oh, we gotta break out of the cell now? <laughs> Let's break out of jail. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> oh no! Uh, let me use Bucket in this place so he can shoot up. No, I don't think I can do it. I, can, I have to do a super jump thingy. Ooh. Nice. I'm not- I'm gonna ignore the pee. I don't need the pee. Oh! Did you see that? How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? That was cruel right there. Cruel. <laughs> Never uh, ignore a P that long. this guy I thought he, I thought he was a good guy I was trying to rescue him uh oh an elevator level oh, that was quick no good D goes unpunished yeah yeah, I was trying to rescue that guy, and he started attacking me. How, how rude. Oh no, we got this Mega Man shit. Look at this. Did I get that? I don't know if that's important. Okay, we got it. Should we go left or should we go right? We got P, people. We got P. I think we just came here for that. That was it? We just came here for the P. Okay, we're going back down. Oh, that's what the P does. It, it, the power goes up. Okay, we need the P. Gotta go taco. A little short for a stormtrooper. He is a very short stormtrooper. If you go on a maze now, apparently that was you, you were supposed to go there just to get that power up and then come back down here. I, the health was good. We needed that. Okay, this guy's gonna attack me now. What a jerk. Oh, do you see that? Oh, you see that? That was cruel. Make me do that all over again. This jerk again. There we go. Hey, it's Jenny. Oh shit. Oh, we're gonna have to fight Jenny. Mind control now. We're dealing with mind control.
Is there a power up here? No. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. Go in. I should do what I was doing before and hide in that area. Maybe I should like keep this blocked out. I don't know. I don't know if she'll jump over this. Hmm. Hey Stitched, this is um, Bucky O'Hare. I'm at the end of the game. It's a really hard game. I'm at the end. Have you played Bucky O'Hare? Don't try owning it, it's super expensive. I would love to own it, but it's just super expensive. Oh, I recommend it. Kev gave it a shot, but he, uh, I think he rage quit. Screwed up.
Oh, finally! Oh my god, you took so many hits! It's not a bad game, it's just extremely difficult. You know how Kev is with hard games, he eats. Uh, I lost myself in a psychic beam. Okay, now, now we got Jenny. What are these pink blocks here? Oh, they break. Okay. I feel like there's stuff above here. Yes, there is! Alright, that was good. Okay, that's all that was here? Okay. It was worth coming here just for that. Oops. Okay, I don't understand these arrows. We gotta figure that out. Okay, there we go. It's, yeah, it's not bad. It's just really challenging. <laughs> and he hates when we say that, even though it's the truth. Like, he hates when we say that, but it's true. When a game is difficult, he just has no patience. So it's not that he can't play hard games, it's just he doesn't have the patience for hard games. I mean, I, I could have rage quit. I've been playing this game for a few hours, and I could have rage quit many times, but I didn't. There's something over here. Oh, that just takes me back. Okay. This is a fact. <laughs> a highlighted message. Oops. Ugh. Well, the thing about this game is you have unlimited continues. So, I feel like if a game is really hard, as long as they give you unlimited continues, you're good, right? But, you know, at least give me a chance to get good. Um, yeah, Rushy, I was I was gonna stop a while ago and, 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 and play another game, but uh, chat's been keeping me going. destroy these things. I don't think you can. They take a lot of health. Ugh.
Maybe we should go this way? Oh! There's Willy! I guess it's good that we went this way. Uh-oh. Oh, uh-oh. They take way too many hits. Way too many hits. Okay, we got Willy back. Thank you, then I may be caught at the top. We haven't played as uh, Willy before yet. I get the P. Okay, we got the P. Uh, this is tricky. Oh, how am I supposed to get across that? Oh, it's gonna be tough. Okay. Alright. Hmm. I'm only gonna focus on the green ones. Oops. <laughs> All right. All right, very good. Oh! Okay, at least we know we can do it. We can do it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Again, good for unlimited continues. Yeah, we gotta see you play this next rushy. Oh, I want to get that L. Mm. No. Well, if I could do it, why can't you do it? Uh, did, why did he stop playing Dark Souls? Did you did you get stuck or something? Did you did you rage quit? What is the story of that?
bit intimidated by the game. I just tested it out on stream. Wasn't ready to officially start it yet. Um, well, with Dark Souls, it's like any other game like it. I mean, you went you you got your Bloodborne. It's the same way where you just gotta like memorize the patterns, figure out where you need to go and not go. And every time you die, you, you're still leveling up. You know, you're still getting the souls. So it's just about um, not giving up. I just I. I haven't figured out the pattern timing here yet. The speed is gonna take some time to get used to the slower pace. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, Dark Souls is a slower paced game. Oh! This is like those Mega Man levels. Yeah, I hate that. I hate this. Ooh. This is just this is just pure cruelty. Oh, I did it. Oh. Did a save state. No, this whole playthrough, I haven't used any save states. So that that is shocking, isn't it? But it's true. I'm very proud of myself. How the frick am I gonna get past this? So I step on that block and that one, and I'll get across. Okay. I don't need that P up there. Oops, jump too soon. Okay. Oops. I went under. Nice. All right. <laughs> yeah, just what I needed. That part, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. So if I go there, if I try to jump, that block is going to hit me, so I, I'm not going to be able to jump that. Because once I'm on that second green block, I can super jump up there. But that pink block is, is going to bump me. I'm going to bump my head into it. It's the, the timing is just weird. Yeah, okay, that's what I do. I super jump on that second block, and then I'm over to go. Okay, I get it.
Okay. So now what? Can I just walk across? Alright. Oh, okay, people. I don't need that P, so... Okay. This is gonna be difficult, but I can do it. Oh! <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, this part is cruel. This part is cruel. Slightly touched the uh, the spike there. You guys think I should keep going or should I rage quit? Because I'm I'm not enjoying this part at all. I thought I landed on that block above it. Oh. Is this this part I just I'm not sure how to do. Hi Tetro. Yeah, this game is really tough. I didn't expect to get this far. I almost rage quit many times. But we're here. Okay, we did it. Yeah, it's just that, that part confusing me. How you doing, Tetro? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I've been on this part for a while now. Oh, oh so you were, you were making, um... Golden Sun plushies? I love the the Dijin, Dijins, I forgot what they're called. I remember that. I haven't played Golden Sun in a long time. I it kind of... And it's funny, I'm not an RPG person, but I do really love Golden Sun. Really good, uh... They're good games. Yeah, we're doing good. Just a little ragey, but... I need to move that pink block 
move out of the way. Then very quickly jump on that. Then then very gently hop onto that second pink one. Like th that's what I'm just not getting this. Unless we just bypass all of it and use him. We could do that. We gotta time it. Oh, this is Bucky O'Hare. Have you ever played it? I just legit don't know how to do that part. Spikes. Spikes of death. I just have to go for it. That's literally the only way to do it. I'm overthinking it. We just, we just gotta go for it. So we'll, we're, we're gonna keep just eating ourselves. heard of it uh did you grow up on the nes era at all or like what, what what was your console growing up uh but this is a uh, made by konami pretty much any game konami made during the nes era is good the only konami game that i don't like is um Bayou Billy. I, I can't stand that game. Um the Japanese version is better though. It's not as difficult, but I, I don't like Bayou Billy. It it is stressful, especially this part. I was doing okay until this part. Console Kev, thank you for the raid. I didn't know you were doing another uh, stream today. I was there for the podcast. Hey, Killer Clown, how are you? Welcome. Welcome. You, you needed it. Uh, what were you playing? Tales of Aspera? Cool. Yeah, Kev, uh, I, I'm sure I got way farther in this game than you ever have, or will. Hey, Kev Bo, thank you for the follow. Hype, hype, hype. Um, you love the old clips? I love the old clips. Um, Kev Bo, there you go. I got to the blue planet? Okay. Well, I beat all the planets, and then I rescued everybody, and then I got abducted so now we're trying to rescue everybody again so i'm at the end part of the game so i don't want to stop playing but this part's kind of gotten me yeah no problem kevbo uh th this part right here is i've been doing over and over 
Yeah, there's a lot of cheap deaths, definitely. Like, I'm just not sure. Okay, as soon as I have to switch right now. Okay. It's all about timing. Metal Gear vibes. That part with the flowing lava that pissed me off good. Oh yeah, you just gotta run really fast. That's basically exactly like Quick Man stage in Mega Man 2. Uh, you should have saw the boss he was fighting. Oh yeah, uh, there was a boss that I just kept dying in. I'm like, is this where the, the play ends right here? I just don't know how to get past that part. I just... Yeah, we, we've been stuck on this part for a while. But you know, they give you unlimited continues, so... This game that needs save states. But even with save states, I mean, this this it's still a tough game. Like, even if I did save states, I wouldn't be able to beat this part here. Greater height. Uh. Yeah, I just you gotta wait for the exact moment to move over. Like the timing has to be perfect. Ken lop power you. I yeeted myself. Knackered. Do you have a, uh, a request for a game, Kev? I am taking requests. Also, Tetro, anybody in chat, because I might just rage quit. Does uh, anyone have a... Uh, Mega Man 6. Did you like Mega Man 6? I really like Mega Man 6. I think it's a good game. Anyone else have a, uh, a request? You love all the mainline games? DuckTales! DuckTales is a great game. DuckTales 2. Have you played DuckTales 2? That game is hard. Um, I found it a little too difficult. They really like... It's like, oh, you like DuckTales, huh? Well, screw you. <laughs> yeah, you know, most people don't know about DuckTales 2. But, uh, and that cart is expensive to get if you really want to get DuckTales 2. So I literally don't know how to do this part. It's really pricey. If you just look on eBay or something, it's just super pricey. Game Boy Cart is cheap and essentially the same game. Um, yeah, pretty much. It, 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 those are pretty good ports. Um, DuckTales 1 and 2 on the Game Boy. It costs somewhere between LOL and laugh my ass off. Pretty much. Oh! Did you see that? That's the closest we've gotten. 
I think I found a strategy, folks. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Did you see that? Okay, I just gotta make sure to not slip off that. I got it incredibly cheap on NES. Uh, what? DuckTales 2? Well, l lucky you, because that game is going for a lot. Gotta take care of T. Oh. Uh, I have already spoke, so I'll concede. Here, yeah, DuckTales 2. 100% sure they did not know the value. Oh, yep, that's why. I mean, what happens is, like, before the internet, or places like, like, people, everyone uses, um, price check, or price, I forgot what that thing is called. Price match, or I don't know whatever it's called. But, uh, everyone uses that thing now. They look, they look at it, and they say, oh, look, this is what it's going for. So it used to be that the uh, sellers were more naive to that stuff, and um, now everybody knows. So it's tough to get good deals like that. I did it! You know it took me like a whole hour? I feel like we've been here like a whole hour to do that. I better get some GG's. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Killer Clown. Thank you. No, literally, I've been here for almost an hour on that one part. But I, I did not give up. And thank you. Thank you, Killer Clown, for the 100 bits. I very much appreciate it. Oh no, we got more of this. Wait a minute. Did it just loop me around? What just happened here? Okay, so basically if you take the top path, it loops around. Or... Wh what just happened? I am confused. Is that what happened? I think that is what happened. Yeah, okay. But it's okay because at least now we know how to beat this part, so I'm I'm not so sad about that. Yeah, so I think we have to go down here. But how? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. What? <laughs> how do we deal with that? Um... Oh, I didn't know we could shoot these things. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's evil. It's evil guy. Yeah, it's evil. What is going on here? <laughs> evil guy designed this level. Could be the final boss up there folks
Oh. Okay, if I stay right here, I should be okay. For some reason, I'm not getting hit right here, so I'm, I'm just staying right here. I'm okay getting hit by a rock, that's fine. to the exit people. Hey, there's what's his face. Oh no. Oh, I didn't know he can climb up walls, so that's what his power is. Remember we couldn't figure that out before? Now we know he can climb up walls. If we stay right here, we should be able to get him. like a powerful blast then. No, that doesn't. Yeah, if we stay right here, we should be fine. did it! Phew, everybody is all right. Yep, hype, hype. Cool. Thank you for the GG's. Are we done yet? Maybe we'll get to the final boss. Is there another level? Aha! Captain, what shall we do? We have to escape, Jenny, now. Well, where are we now? I calculate we are near the core of the magma tanker. Let's follow the salvage chute down to the center, and then we can blow their tanks. Yo, Bucky! Let's ionize the slime-eaten toadies. Oh shit. What is that? I don't know what this thing is, but it's taking a lot of hits. Oh wow, why did that take so many hits? So basically this is the Technodrome, basically, right? Oh, insta-death!
Oh! <laughs> Insta death. What, what, why does this guy have so much health? Look at this. Why is he like frozen right there? That was weird. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of insta deaths in this game, yeah. Uh oh, now Toad. I don't know how to deal with these guys. They just take way too many hits. Am I just supposed to run past them? I guess the best thing I could do is run past them. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna run past them. They take too many hits. Don't jump over me. I don't I don't care. Get, oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to rush past them. I'm like, you take too many hits, I don't have time for you. It is, it is, uh... Okay, what we'll do is we'll fly above this. Okay, we gotta figure out a way. Just get past this guy. Jump over me, there we go. I'm not sure... Maybe we should spend the time to try to kill this thing? Or maybe we'll just let it split. Yeah, this music kind of sounds like Technodrome music, doesn't it? It kind of does. I think we're just gonna have to take these guys out. I thought I was supposed to go down. Am I supposed to go down? Okay. <laughs> Ouch.
Oh, I almost made it. He hit me. <laughs> oh no. I just don't want to fight this thing. It just takes too many hits. Just get out of my way. Ugh. You're gonna have to fly over that part. Oh no, it split. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Yep. Uh. Oh, I, I jumped too soon. I think, I, I think we'll be Bucky, because Bucky can do this jump. There we go. Just, just get... Oh, we did it. You, do you know how difficult that was? Jeez. Oh my god. That was brutal. What is that? Is that something? I don't think that's something. Okay. I don't think I need to pee. Oh, what? What the hell is that? <laughs> oh no, insta death. This is cruel. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Okay. There is a, a life thing here that I would like to grab. Imagine if this was an arcade game, you know how many quarters? Jeez, it was taking a lot of quarters. Timing. I'm just surprised we made it this far. Like, what the heck? Ooh. Am I near the end? Because this game just seems to keep on going. Oh. <laughs> we have to be. Uh, I don't know. This just keeps on going.
This is just cruel right here. Yeah, this part's just pure luck. There's like no skill involved because it's all about timing. That like split second of getting past these things. So this is this is very cheap right here. Ugh. Give up? Should we give up? Did I rage quit? Mm. I, don't, I don't even care about the L. This is this is one shot killing me anyway. <laughs> this just sounds exactly like Ninja Turtles music. Oh, we did it. Oh, well, almost. This is the part I don't... That's the part I don't know how to do because they move at the same time. So there's, there's not a time... How do I move it in between those? I guess, the, I guess what I could do is try to get, try to sneak in between those two things. It's not going to be easy, 
but I could. Like, I could use his boost to, to get in between those two things. That's the only way. Falling into it is not gonna do it. All the one hit KO things, yeah. It's just really cruel, right? One hit kills. They they really didn't have to do that. They could have just had it that it uh, just takes some health. Even if it takes like half your life bar, like just you know, then then you'll get two hits at least. But the the insta death. It just how many one hit kill things do you want in this game? Yes. I feel like this is something. But I don't know what it could be. You think that's something? This is the part. Okay, I think I think we got it. But we got more now. We did it. Oh, that took forever. What oh well, I can't kill this thing now. What the hell is that? What are these things? Uh... Ow! You can't- you can't kill these beetle things. <laughs> okay, but at least at least we don't have to go through there anymore. But Oh, okay, we got past that. Oh, that, that was a mess. Oh, 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 that was a mess. This is so cruel, look at this. Oh, <laughs> I forget that's instant death, that, that spike there. No. You're supposed to do here. I guess this. This is try your best to. They literally just want to drain your entire health bar there. I guess. Oh. Oh, that was good. That was very good. Because this is what you're supposed to do. Whoa, that was very good. 
Oh, so if, if I was doing save states, I would do a save state right here. That, that was a perfect thing right there. Did it, people? We are in unknown territory. Ew, what is this slug? How do I get this slug off my head? Oh. I don't need that. Got rid of that. At least we're in the fourth area here. We're making progress. No. Oh, <laughs> hey, how come that killed me? That didn't kill me last time. Why did he respawn? is not very good. Oh, he can climb. I forgot about that. So let, let's try to climb up here. There we go. Ooh. Nice. More torture. We're not done yet, people. No. Oh. <laughs> At least that's a checkpoint. That is a checkpoint. Whoa. Whoa, that was close. How am I supposed to do that? Uh, oh, that was close. Oh, great. They're going to shut off the lights now. Um, This is cruel. I can't see. This is so cruel. Look at this. You see this? Oh, 
Okay, once I'm on here, I don't know wh where else to go. Um, let's take a close look. Alright, there's... There's a, there's a pipe up here. No? Hmm. I'm just gonna go as far as I can go and just hope for the best. There we go. I'm gonna try that again. Go as far as I go, hope for the best. We did it. Alright. At least we're in this area. We're in Act 7. Okay, now we're in Act 8, I guess. some bullshit right here. More, more bullshit. Oh. What's going on here? What the hell is that? Oh, this lava doesn't kill me? It's kind of weird. Oh, I used Bucky here, I guess. Okay. <laughs> this part seems a bit unreasonable. That is an understatement, evil guy. That is an understatement. Ugh, well we got through it, but now I'm now dealing with this. I'm not gonna have enough time to charge a jump here, so what do I do? Okay, you just, you, you can half charge it and, and jump it. No! Hi, honey. Yeah, this game is tough and long. It's, it's, it's tough. But we're getting through it. Every time I was gonna rage quit and end, we got a little further and chat's been cheering me on. So, we're, 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 we're still at it. Ugh. Just pure evil. Oh, I would love that L up there. Can we get that? Nice. Uh, all right. Oh, instant death! Oh, from that laser. Okay, let's check. We can do it! Okay, I'm wondering how to get out of that situation. Okay, he's the only one that can shoot up. <laughs> Not even shocked by the instant death so far. Okay, so that means we cannot go un directly under him at all.
I think this is better, right? Just have to go to bed. I'm knackered. If I go quiet, I probably fall asleep. All right. Well, you know, go to sleep. Don't stay up on my uh, account. Okay, so he dies if he's like that close. If I stay right here, he doesn't get hit. See that? Then I got a duck. Get it? He's a duck. We just stay right here. He's not gonna get hit. Look at that. He found the trick. Uh, I'm not staying up. I'm exhausted. I'm in bed. All right. Well, yeah, go to sleep. Rest up. Well, we found the sweet spot, which is nice. Now watch out for that insta death right here, though. Oh, that was close. I almost forgot to move out of the way. Uh-oh, I'm getting hit now. What, what's going on? Oh, what do I attack now? Oh, I have to attack his head. Die already? Oh, I forgot to duck. Oh. You think this is the final boss? Because he has a lot of help. Yeah, reverse Uno. I wasn't getting hit before, and now I'm getting hit. <laughs> yep. Flippy's Revenge. Sleepy Toad. I don't know if this is the final boss. I don't think this would be the final boss. Who knows? Oh no! This is not good. This is not good. Or maybe it is. No. You can't be right under it. Where's Falco? That's a good question.
Okay, you can't, yeah, you have to move. Mmm, KFC. Oh, that was close. Oh no! Oh no, I'm screwed. Kev, I got this far all the way to the end, no save states. None. I don't know how I did it, but I did. Now's your turn. <laughs> yep. This is all uh, MB the Great One's fault. Because he recommended this game, and I didn't expect to play it as the majority of my stream. This is supposed to be like random NES games. But I've been doing pretty good, so we're sticking with it so far. Yeah, so he said he's gonna try on his next stream. Let's see how he does. It's all chat's full. I would, I would have, yeah, I would have uh, ended a while ago. The chat's been super supportive. Okay, we need to like move out of the way. Now we got the next phase, which is nice. Thanks to Jenny. No! Oh, this is not good. Dead. Instant death. Yeah. You just, we cannot spawn right under him. This is so annoying. <laughs> you want to see the ending? Yeah, I, I don't know what the ending is. I've never gotten this far. Ugh. Just... Yeah, it's, it's it's the timing. It's really annoying, but it's the timing. Like, you know the sound that, that happens when you fall? You have to move right before that sound starts. I and mean, I've been moving right after that sound comes on. So I just need to not do that. I need to move now. Oh! <laughs> no, I, I did not need to move right then. Ugh. Thank you for the Fs in the chat.
Okay. Yeah, it's, it's all about timing. And if your timing is off, you're screwed. Super annoying. Yeah, <laughs> oof. oof. I haven't figured out the timing to not get squished. Maybe I should not try and I should not be trying to just move across the whole level. I should just kind of move a little forward like toward the middle and then move back. <laughs> yeah, it's bullshit. Is he trying to psych me out right now? Like that. That's what I have to do, right? I think that's what I we're gonna try doing it that way. It's all about patience, Kev. You need patience. Okay, that's working. Yeah, there's no pattern as far as I know. Yeah, you saw that? What the hell is that? He just spawned all the way to the, to the right. I mean left. I don't know what that was about. Yeah, I, I'm not understanding the pattern of when he drops. I'm just not quite getting it. It just seems random. Yeah, it looks random, right? Other game came out in the 90s, renting games from... Yeah, I mean, that's why they made... These games were made hard because of the limitations of the hardware. Uh, limitations of the memory, actually. So they couldn't make the games too long. So in order to artificially lengthen the game, they just made it very difficult. And then also, yeah, they wanted you to uh, rent the game multiple times. It's the same philosophy with, like, arcade games. You know, they want you to waste quarters. Okay, so far we're getting good luck with the drops. What about the people who have beaten? I've beaten many NES games. Many uh, uh, pre-PS1 games. And so have you, so... You can see the sunlight. Okay, we did it, folks. Need to find that sweet spot, though. Ugh! Oh. My problem is, I'm not sure what to do after that phase. I'm not sure where I should be standing. I guess I should be standing in the same spot.
a dead eye, but I don't think he's able to uh, hit up there. Like, I think he's able to hit Flippy Toad up there. We'll try it, but I, I felt like switching to Jenny was the way to go. Alright, but the range is very short though. They, they gave it a strength and a weakness. Okay, so we, we got it done right here, but you see how I can't hit him? I can't hit him with Slippy Toad. That's a jump. Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> Okay, we got it, folks. We got it, folks. We got it. We got it. I just, I wish the enemies had, like, the bosses had, um, health bars. That would be helpful. So far, good luck on drops right now. Oh no! Okay, well we're screwed. Yeah, there's no way out of that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. That was funny. It would be nice if I could just tickle him and then... Just there, you're literally trapped. Yeah. Hey Kev, this is like Dark Souls. This is basically like a Dark Souls boss fight. You're better in Dark Souls. It's just that random drop. Alright, we got it. Oh, that was close. See, that's the thing is, how am I supposed to do that then? Because in, in, the, only, the only way to, to use this character to get my shots, I have to jump. But if I jump, see what happens when I jump? So that's why I'm saying I shouldn't use him for the second phase. Hi Chaz. 
Um, this is not a Mega Man clone. Not really, no. It, it plays very different than Mega Man. But how are you doing? Let me give you a shout out. Have you have you played uh Bucky O'Hare? This game has been if you wanna play Dark Souls on the NES, uh play Bucky O'Hare. This game has been kicking my ass. One of the worst rated NES titles. What, this? No, this is a great game. It's just really hard, but it's, it's a great game. Um, the people that don't like it, um, they, uh, they can't get good. Yeah, what's wrong with them? They can't get good. See, this keeps happening. How am I supposed to get past this? Just, just... The random falls. It's so annoying. You keep moving after the sound starts. Yeah, but it that doesn't that didn't work once, so I do think it's random. I'm gonna I don't know. Okay, that worked. I do think it's crappy that if you get stuck in the middle, there's no way out. There's probably a dumpster I like. Yeah, Kev, you rage quit Zelda 2. What was up with that? Oh, you see that? I need to go back to, uh... Go back to Zelda 2. And, 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 and no, no walkthrough either. You need to go back to this. You can't let me outshine you. can't let me beat Bucky O'Hare on stream and you, you can't. Okay, that's working so far. I have to let me shine occasionally, but that's very thoughtful. that. He was a game genie. Well, I don't know, a game, well, you could use a game genie with Zelda 2. That'll give you, like, infinite health, but then you still need to know where to go and what to do. And you could do a code to get all the items, and then you can go straight to Ganon, I guess. Not Ganon. Um, Thunderbird, what the hell the boss is called. I don't see a pattern with the, the falls, but there might be. Cause he's in the ooh, I didn't pay attention. He's in the middle right now. So when he goes, when he's in the middle, where does he go? He always jumps on the opposite side. All right, we'll 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 see. Let's try that. He follows me.
Maybe I should psych him out again. Could that, that work before? Like just going this way and then going back this way. Should I try that again? So he's saying he's gonna go right now. He's gonna go to the right. Okay. So then after this he's gonna go to the left. We'll see if this is correct. Alright, so far so so good. Ever heard of Nin Toaster? Hi, Chris was not here. Uh, I know um, the Angry Video Game Nerd had a Nin Toaster. Hi, Predator Gaming. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Uh, let me give some shout outs here. Yay, Null is my favorite game. There we go. So he's gonna go to the left now. Oh, see? He went, he went in the middle this time. And now I don't know if he's gonna go left or right. Oh, wait. Doing well? Cool. You were playing Sonic 2. Cool. You know, I've never been able to do play Sonic 2 and get all the emeralds. I just kind of race through the game. I don't really concentrate on the emeralds. I never been able to do that. Yeah, I really do think it's random, so. Hey, did you get good rest? I think if he jumps in the middle, I'm not even gonna try to concentrate on that anymore because I, I don't know. I I think it's pure luck, pure randomness. That's good. Yeah, we've been stuck on this boss for a while. I know the pattern. Except for when he drops. See? I just I don't know the pattern. I don't know. I won't keep track of that. Maybe somebody kept track of that. It's been a while.
I have the patience because I grew up on NES, so I'm used to just do you know playing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I'm, I'm just I'm I, it's it's not a big deal to me, but I totally understand people that didn't grow up in this era just not having the patience. Because why would you like if you didn't grow up like doing this repetitive stuff over and over again? Plus, we have such a choice of games. There's so many games everywhere. So if a game is too tough or too challenging, you just move on, right? Okay, we're, we're done with that. You see? I feel like right after I destroy that thing, he becomes even more randomized with where he drops. I feel like he purposely drops right on my head no matter where I am after I blow up that purple thing. And I wasn't even paying attention. Okay. jumped on the same side twice. I think there's 20 people watching right now. Hype, 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 hype. I appreciate it. <laughs> a shout out to all the 20 people. I know how much Kev loves the view counter. Kev's favorite thing in the whole world. Yeah, I only look at it occasionally. I don't really look at it. Every now and again, I'll, I'll glance over to my right. But it doesn't bother me. This boss pattern resets after you defeat the first- Yeah, that's what it seems. It, the, right now, it's gonna- Now is the part where it's difficult. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go, people. Oh no! That was my fault. That was my fault. The thing is, I don't know what else to do besides this. See that? What other weapon would be good? Like doing this? I could do this. During the second phase. Because this is not going to work. Using that guy is not going to work. This guy's not going to work. Bucky's not going to work. I don't know. curious if she will be able to kill this guy faster. You think so? I'm just getting... I'm just questioning myself because I'm not really making that much progress. When I get game over here, we'll, we'll go back to Dead Eye.
Oh no! Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with Deadeye. So I have confirmed that every time he jumps to the middle, he goes to the left. Alright! I'm just, I'm not sure where to go after he jumps up after you do the first phase. Because it seems like ev anywhere I go, he jumps on my head. Any, any, after the first phase, he just immediately jumps on top of me. The only thing tricky is knowing where he goes to the middle. Yeah. Why are the missiles hitting me now? Okay, so now, right now, no matter where I go, he's gonna land on my head. Watch. Oh! Well, there we go. So that was a shock. What about now? Oh! Wait a minute, people. You might have gotten good. People, we're making progress now. People. Hey, we're getting good luck right now. I don't know, the gods are on my side or something. Oh, my health though. Oh no, my health. My health. My health. I had it too. It was... Just... Ugh. This guy has too much health. I don't know, should I rage quit or should I keep going? Oh no. Rage quitting isn't allowed, you sure? I, you must not know me too well. I rage quit often. But no, I, I'm only keeping up with this because you guys are being so supportive in the chat. Otherwise I would have rage quit a long time ago. Oh! Well, I didn't mean to jump right there, did I? Yeah, the problem with the second phase is I have to jump up in order to shoot so that gets rid of me being um, not vulnerable to the fire. Like, like if I stand right here, the missiles don't get me. But in order to um, 
to shoot him, I have to jump up. So that that's the part I haven't figured out, really. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, I hate to quit, like, where we're pretty much right at the end. I don't I don't think this is the final boss, though. Do you guys think this is the final boss? I don't think so. But I'll probably end up quitting here, because I don't think I'll be able to, like, go any further. I'm getting tired. Now, oh, well, I guess this is as far as I will go. I'm running out of steam. We'll give it a few more tries and then I'll have to uh, end it. don't have much vulner and vulnerability in the second phase. Yeah, that's the problem where like there, there's no... Whether I use this character or another character, I'm gonna be getting hit by these missiles. Like there, there's not... What we'll do is the the next time um I fail at a second phase, that's when we'll call it. So if I get to the second phase and I'm not able to do it, we'll we'll just have to I don't know. Maybe one day I'll come back to it. Oops. I'll do a save state. You mean like just staying there, not moving? So like, like that? Maybe I should just stay in the middle like that?
I'll, I'll try that. I'm just gonna stay in the middle and then either move to the left or to the right. That might work. Maybe we'll do the same thing for the second phase, if we get to it. We'll just kind of stay in the middle and then like move left or right. Okay, we're in the second phase. No. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, that will call it. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out. That was a good run. I would keep going, but I'm just tired and we're... We've done 5 hours and 47 seconds. Uh, no, 5 hours and 47 minutes. Um, but yeah, so... Oh, Treyon Realm, yeah, sorry. But yeah, I've been going for almost 6 hours. Uh, this game is really tough. It's been, um... Really beating me up. Um, so to speak. Um, but yeah. But yeah, so let's see who we can raid. Who is on right now? Yeah, it was a good try. It just... My hands and arms hurt. Um, yeah, I will. I will make a save state. We will, we will do that right now. Okay, the save state is made. Uh, some dude is playing Zero Mission, which is nice. So we, I think he was nice enough to stop by the stream earlier. So let's raid some dude. He's awesome. But I want to thank everybody for coming out. This was fun. I always love doing these um, streams where you guys pick the the game for me to play and and root me on. And yes, so this this is uh, yeah. I'm I'm playing um, the EverDrive on my AVS. So yeah, but I recommend uh, checking out the VOD and then you you could see the games that I was playing. And then I will be uploading this onto YouTube tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I, I recommend the ABS. I love it. It's completely worth it. It's a better value than getting the analog NT, which I think is overpriced. Um, it does just as much stuff. It, do, it does everything that that does, except that I believe is 1080p and this is 720p. Other than that, it's exactly the same. It's FPGA based. All right. Yeah, Die Hard is it, completely worth it. So, uh, give a warm welcome to some dude. Do hashtag one up John Raid. Again, thank you guys all for the support and have a good night. Bye bye.